Where's my play toy, mommy? Where's my play toy? Okay. Hey, so I think we're live and I forgot to pop out the chat because I'm so discombobulated. I think this one's beyond rescuing. Ah. Uh, there we go. Hi, Angela. Hi, Daisha. Hi, Robert. Welcome, welcome. Monday. Ms. Mixalot in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work while you guys come in because, well, Wendy's a little late. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Brian. Terry, Joshua, Cumulus. How are you doing, sweetie? Please forgive me for being late. Knox out. How you doing, love? Susan, Amber, Kim, Forrest. Ah, you too, Daisha. Love one, people one. Ah, thank you. Dr. JC's review. Uh, let's see. Did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. All right. So it's kind of going slow, but it's going fast at the same time. Let me try to bake the shit out of this so I can just rework it real quick. Joshua, how you doing? Hi, Wyatt. Hi, Linda. Trying to draw these out. Wouldn't, wouldn't be a Monday without a Lumi squeak. <laughs> so how is everybody doing? Lawless, hi. How are you, sweetie? I feel so blessed to have you again. So how's everybody's mixing going? I got Bayless. I just got some too. I got, the, they were literally sold out of everything but 30 mil or 10 mil when I got it. And when she went to reorder, they only had 10 mil. I wonder how much they, like, I wonder if they know I am the reason why Bayless is going. No, I, I don't think so. Maybe if you put it in the reviews, like, wow, maybe I shouldn't have told anybody. <laughs> Why is this wet? This should not be wet. I've had so many people message me showing me their new bottles of Bayless, and I'm like, yes. And then you're like, I'm trying to order, and there's only 10 mils. I'm, I'm missing those, one of my mods. I'm one of those preemptive people. I still have a bit to go, so I'll be waiting for my four oh, ounces. Yeah. I'm, I still have half a bottle, but half a bottle is low for me, so... I'm missing one of my mods. One of my mods for tasting is awesome, Amber. She tried her first one shots. All Amber. right, that's what I'm talking about. One shots, baby. Just make it easy. If you start easy, it'll make you want to keep doing it. If you make it too difficult, then you're not gonna want. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you do Pee Wee Herman. So I did, a, a, finally I got some juice to review. It was only two, but I got some juice to review, which everybody loves the juice reviews, but if I'm not getting them, I can't review them, you know? So I got a juice and it's actually by that tea time company that doesn't use any sweeteners in it. It's basically like a black tea base, but it's like different flavors. And they had a gray, what is it called? Hold on. Earl Grey. Oh, oh my I God. Saw the, I saw your review pick came up in my email. It was so good. What? I like to still have it. It's in here. I know what it is. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Noxo. Ingrid. Amber. Vinny, Happy how are you doing? How are you doing? Mascot, how are you? I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. If I did miss you, say hello again so I can get to you. You're just getting off work. That's awesome, Lawless. Hi, Frank. How are you? Frank. Isn't Frank a mixer, too? Yeah. Yep. Hey, Frank, you want to come on? He's if a you do, say driver. yes in here. And if you can send him the link, um, um, Addy, if he says yes. I think he's driving, but I'll gladly send him the link on uh, Instagram or Oh, uh, Twitter. Well, that way, when he stops, he can get there. Ooh, we got Adam Polarzik in here. How'd you like his Girl Scout cookie? 
<clears throat> oh, that's the one that I made it? Yep, madam, I'm madam. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Oh man, it's in my purse. It's in my purse. I swear I made it, I swear I did. <laughs> Anna Wendy has her cookies in her purse. <laughs> yes, because I have that one in my red skunk. Um, so yeah, you're still working? Oh, that sucks, Frankie. So I'm Frank has a, he does a show every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, but YouTube. that's going to be too late when I wake up at 4 on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Nicole. Did I oh. say hi for us? Hi, Eric. Oh, my hi, God, Jerry. Adam. It was really, 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 really good. I think we just made a couple adjustments, but that was it. But yum, Saturday. yum, yum. Because I didn't know that I like chocolate mint baked. So, I'm sorry. I don't like chocolate mint, but apparently I really like the e-liquid. <laughs> <laughs> now, there is a problem, though, and I don't know where it's coming from, and I'm thinking it's that one. You know how I'm allergic to cinnamon? I had a blister a blister from one of my, my juices. Oh, bummer. Wilderness and Girls has no cinnamon. I know, but that's why I'm thinking maybe it's a different flavor that I'm trying because remember, I haven't tried all these flavors before. Um, so I don't know if it may be the cream de mint because that's the only real new one that I added that I haven't really had any type of flavor like that, but I'm still, I'm still vaping it. So I don't care until it goes away <laughs> or it doesn't. <laughs> I Mel, because it's so good. I couldn't stop. So, hey. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody else? It shows on Saturday. I'm sorry, Wendy. I said Sunday. Uh, that, oh, it's on Saturday night? Yeah, night. I might be able to make Saturday night. We can see. Because usually, like, I wake up early Sunday so I can clean because that's the only day that I have for the week. Um, but we'll see because I think this Saturday I don't have plans. I think I got something on me. The Cherokee vapor. Ah, you, you got here, Cherokee. You've been busy, girl. You've been oh my gosh. Them reviews out. Yeah, but I I mean I I was supposed to put out two extra reviews this week, but I just work has been kicking my ass. When I get home from work, I literally cannot think. It's like I'm getting home so late because of traffic, and not only that, now I have to take the expensive way to work. Be, excuse me, because they're shutting down part of I4 again. So, it's going to cost me like $14 a day to get to work and back what yep because they're and that it's going to be closed for six weeks oh i'm like so upset i'm like i can't i can't afford to be paying 14 dollars a day just to get to work it's like i'm literally paying for toll for tolls so, hi kristen hi scott Chef. hi ricky tell your boss you need a stipend for six six weeks or whatever yeah yeah i wish I'm trying to perfect my blue raz slushy recipe right now. Oh my God, that sounds so good, Chris. Chris, I need to make one, but I want it to be just like the one from, um, what is it called? The one from, um, hi, Karen. Um, what's his name? Um, shit, from Tony B. The one that he has. Oh my God, that's like my favorite one because it tastes like the juice from a slushy. Yeah. Yep. I have a sun pass, Robert, and it cost me $14 a day because I pay I have to pay tolls both ways. Now I, I've had sun pass since 2006, I want to say. Hi, Terry. Hi, Zero. Zero. Max but out. still, you gotta have money in the bank for them to pull it out. So, you know. <laughs> Hi, Karen. How you doing? If anybody was yes, curious. not the sugar. Is it the sugar lips? If the blue pucker. There you go, Jerry. Thank you Adam so much. Yes. Girls into chat. What are you throwing in chat? Adam's Wilderness Girls. The girls. Oh yes, it's very very good. So, would you mix this week? I haven't mixed anything today. I got to make my weekly, my <laughs> weekly mixes. I'm literally like here. I still didn't get to do my cornflakes. My eggnog is empty out there, which I have, you know, spare here, but that one's empty. And then the custard I made, um, that one's empty. The blueberry is empty. I mean, I've, I literally did not have, I didn't have time. I was so overworked this past week. And then we had system issues every day i'm literally seven days behind work 
That sucks. And more system issues today. It's just been exacerbating. So that's you why have you, you have this show so you can make your weekly e-liquid. Exactly. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, crazy paper. It's like, I don't care what you guys want. I'm making this. I need it for the week. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I'm, I'm doing that. <laughs> Hi, Becca. I have to put this over here to charge real quick. Because I didn't even charge this thing and I need to rewick these so I can try my stuff. Darcy. Me too, Joshua. Me too. It's like I've tried so many blue rats, but that one, I just love the syrupiness of the, because it's literally like if you have a slushie and you just let it all melt and you get all the syrup on the bottom. Hi, Darcy. Becca. And make sure I got everybody. Light Bear, how you doing? Make 300 mils of Adituni's custard and another 300 of other custards. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready. Hi, little angel. So I knew, I know Lumi did a mix for Mixin Vixens this week. I just saw the email. I think it was like, it came across today, right? Was the email today or yesterday, I think? I don't know. They, they do it the show on Sunday. If you yeah. want to know what I'm doing, I'm trying to see my hair because I try to make it more red. It's still dark, but it's more red. Little angel. I want to see how it was on camera. Oh, got my nails redone. Very pretty. It looks like <laughs> your, they look like your skull. No, they're actually um, flowers, real flowers and little butterflies in them. No, it's like real butterflies and flowers. Real butterflies? I mean, not real butterflies, real flowers and butterflies. But they're real flowers, they're dried flowers in them. Like this one, you can see them. The pink is actually a dried flower. The pink on, where's my finger? No, this one. That's a dried flower in there. That's a dried flower in the purple. Very sparkly. Thank you. <laughs> yup. So. Got those done because they were like this long. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> and what's funny is that I started and usually I get comments like, oh my God, you know, you need to cut them things. I never got any comments about it. I was so waiting for the comments because I get some shit comments sometimes. But no, yeah. not this time. How do the people at work feel like you, I mean, you have to tap with your nails, right? Oh yeah, they hate me typing. That the first day I went to, to this position, I was there and right away another UT walked by and she was like, oh no, oh no, we can't have this. And she's trying to silence my keyboard. I'm like, she goes, I know there's a shortcut. I'm like, I really don't think you can silence a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so she just wears these big old gigantic freaking headphones. I'm like, oh, I don't care. God. I'm sorry. As long as I do my job, y'all hired me. I'm here. Yeah. Hi, Chuck. How you doing, Josh? So, you know, it is what it is. Um, the best flavor, the best yogurt flavor cumulus, they told me Flavor West. So that's what I bought. I bought me, I got my new stash here. I've got some lemon lime because for some reason, everything that I'm making is like lemon lime. And I don't know why my lights feel like they're dim now. I got the yogurt. I got the um, Bayless and I got some Catalan cream, Belgian waffle because you told me to get the Belgian oh, waffle yum. Yum. from Liquid Barn. So we got to definitely make those flavors for sure. Oh, show. When they, you should comment, tell them to wipe themselves first. When they, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lawless, they do it all the time. And I'm like, whatever. The other day, there was one that, that said something. And he was like, I'm just, I said, I replied to him and he was like, you know, you can't take constructive criticism. I'm like, how is it constructive criticism when you're telling me um, it's about time you cut your nails? You're telling me what to do with my body. Fuck you. <laughs> I got your constructive criticism. And I try to hold my tongue because I usually like write down my, my reply and then I delete it because before I even post it, because sometimes I'm like really hard handed with them replies because it just gets me. It's like, how, how do you feel like you can come in my comments on my video and talk about me? 
I am me. This is me. I've always been since the first day I was here doing anything. I've always had the fancy nails, nails that nobody else has. And I'm all about my nails and that's it. I can do everything that anybody else can do with my nails. So what's the problem? And you don't need tweezers. It's awesome. Yeah. So what's the problem? You know, I mean, why, why do people feel like they can just come across and how does that make them feel better? That's what I want to know. Like, I don't know. When they, when they get done, are they going, <laughs> I burned her day? Yes. <laughs> like, really? I think, I think they do. I don't know. Hi, Josh Rhodes. How are you? Gosh. Oh, Vinny, I know what you mean. It's been so busy and then so many system issues. And then they're like, oh, you're falling behind on this. I'm like, yeah, well, if you don't fix the systems, I can't do my work. Yeah. And where's my $14? It. yeah a day and they won't pay for that so i don't know what i'm gonna do because that's not gonna work for me i i can't afford to do that and there's no way company there's no way that they can put me on any type of payment thing like that but a lot of um, money 70 dollars a week that's crazy exactly that's why i'm like i'm freaking out i'm really really freaking out shit i need my coil there should be a coil in here i got a new pop socket What'd you, what'd you get? Yes, Light Bear, I saw. Oh, <laughs> that's awful cute. I had to super glue my other one to my old case because it kept falling off, but I put it up too high. So when I would reply to people, I would constantly be backing out of chats. So didn't need but it was a really nice upgrade to have a new pop socket a little bit lower on my phone so i wasn't constantly backing out of messages that i was trying to send to i people. don't have that problem lumi <laughs> <laughs> he's the one thing uh <laughs> hi elizabeth hi josh Rhodes. elizabeth hamid how are you how to make smelly ass juice oh my god i've got the perfect recipe for you Wait, I'm going to post it right now. Hold on. Just keep watching, okay? Keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, and you're gone. Bye. <laughs> That's how I make it. God, people people think I play. I don't play. It's my chat. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, that's how I make smelly ass juice. Yeah. Read a comment on Zofie's page once. How reviewers always give sponsors a great review. Funny thing is, the guy didn't even watch the video. Yeah, I, I believe it, Scott. I believe it. I totally get it. Oh, man, my cup was burning up. Nothing lawless. Somebody just trying to be smart ass in my comments, but they're gone. Everything is great now. It's like being in um in Wizard of Oz. We can follow the yellow brick road now. <laughs> <laughs> follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. So my strawberry cheesecake with the wonder flavors came out nice this week. It did. I got. I don't. I don't have those flavors to make it. Like you guys keep popping out like new flavors that I don't have. Can y'all make some recipes with flavors I do have? <laughs> well, we got to get the hype up for flavors for people that want to buy them when they come out. But we we mix with older flavors too. I know, but you know. Be back in a second. Knocks out. You know you're already singing it, so don't even play. Dead Man's, I've tried them. I did try them because I actually met them, I want to say it was three years ago in, um, was it in the, yeah, in the Orlando, my, my the or, I think it was my very first vape event. And I went to the Orlando one. And that's where I first met them. And I tried, I tried their flavors there. Very, very good. Very good. I think they gave me some to try. I think I have a review. I might have a review for them. Or they gave me some to try. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, I think I won it. I won. I won a line. That's what it was. I won some because they were doing like some raffle and I left and then they called me. And they're like, you won. I'm like, okay, I'm on my way back. <laughs> Be there in a minute. Because they literally picked the winners like right like when the place was closing. Uh, let's see. I actually had a picture with them, I think on my Instagram once. 
This did a whole show based off classic flavors. Oh, that's awesome, Frank. Yeah, you guys need to make flavors out of my flavor stack. So that's just my rule. We started, we're going to start doing something occasionally on Fresh's channel where people mm -hmm. are going to submit like pictures of desserts. Oh, and then you try to match it? And then we're going to try to make them live. It's kind of like the whole mix and mix and thing, except for you get to watch Fresh and I do it live. Oh, that's cool. Hi, Larry. You got your new Lumi stand? The child with the bone broth. Baby alien with a cup of soup. It's not nearly as cute as mine, though. <laughs> nope, definitely not. Let's see. Big B, how are you doing? How is the blueberry jam from Mullenberry and the Belgian waffle? I don't have those, I don't think. Hi, reloading time. If people need help with carts, it's all DMing stuff because you got to keep in mind, I'm on a show every day of the week. And when I'm not on somebody else's show, I'm streaming on Twitch. When I'm not doing that, I'm doing orders for stands. So you just have to pop up in my messages so I can keep track of you and I'll do my best to keep track of you. But if you're needing any kind of help with a shopping list, just message me on Discord, Facebook, or IG. Yep. Hi, Adrian. Pup, pup man, how are you? DM where? Can you put your stuff in chat again? Pretty please. Hi, Vans. Oh, you got them? That's so awesome. Congratulations again. Hi, VSO. Orion, how are you? Yes, I know. That's awesome. Yay. It's all on the mix. So yeah, that's what that's my problem, Jerry. Is mine, I have to make it a little bit more flavorful because of the fact that I use RTAs, especially for work. So I like mine a little bit more, like a lot more flavorful. On an RDA, it's different. Size here just to roast you. <laughs> Don't take that shit. Come on, just do this. I need to rewick. You give me a problem. I have battery. No, I just didn't have a turn up. Chevy man, how you doing? Hi, Tante. Happy Monday. There we go. You're ready. And next. Rewick this real quick. Look at that. That one almost looks like a natural skin. <laughs> the way that it is. It's like, it looks like a real ghoul, you know, like a real skeleton. It's a lime green with black swirls in it. Light bear asked for one. No, it looks great. It looks so natural though, like a real skeleton like. And then this is his little brother. Aww. Yeah, Dante loves that skull too. She makes them. If you're interested, reach out to her on any of her um, on any of her social media. The link is in chat. There we go. Feed it up, baby. Cause got to wick it up, baby. No, I gotta try some flavors. What? Well, what? Have you tried Shoku by Twelve Monkeys? No, I have not. I don't think I've tried any of the Twelve Monkeys. Not the first, second, third, or the eleventh or twelfth. 
Hi, Jackie. Well, this one goes this one, and then you are over here. Turn it down. Just give me a minute. I'm just trying to get all this wicked up because I was late. I'm sorry. I was like two minutes late getting on, and then I'm like late with everything because, yeah. Because I definitely have a couple flavors I want to make, definitely today, and then I do have to make some that I need for the week. Oh, that's true, Amber. Amber says, I want all the skulls, but I had to bite the bullet and get a new computer. So hopefully next month. Oh, you're maybe on the Noms X2 white peach and raspberry. That's really good. I like the one that has the jackfruit in it. Really, really good flavors. Okay, so you're ready to wick. Let's see if you're trying I know to. one thing I'm going to be pushing her to mix is the Bayless. Yes, that's that's definitely today. So we'll be mixing that today, baby, for two weeks. I've been dying to make it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do. Oh, this one. No, this one. I didn't. believe Brea has the purple galaxy one. It should be in her mailbox whenever she gets home from work tonight. I have my rainbow one that does match my nails, actually. <laughs> this is. Wild. I have the rainbow. Bayless is a flavor. It's like a, what is it? Like Bayless and something in cream. I, I was looking it up today. It's like a strawberry and cream, right? Bayless is the hazelnut chocolate. Yeah, that's what it is. On like a Don't shirt. Google Bayless because it gives you a totally different one. I don't know. I'm just interested. I just have to make it because Lumi likes it. <laughs> Yep, any of the ones that you see over here are still available. Ah, oh, somebody needs to get that pink one. That freaking pink is amazing. It's my first pearlescent one. It's got like little hues. That is it. beautiful. If I wasn't having to pay $14 a day to get back and forth to work, I'd probably get that next. Um, who asked? Light bearer. The best squonk is, let me put it this way this one. I, I know that they came out with three different, three different versions. They had this one, then they had the one with the dots on it. And then they had the one with the chip in it. This is by far my favorite one. It's just the regular dual top side. Um, and I always have it with my profile RDA, not the profile 1.5, but the original profile. And this I've literally been using about a year now. And it's literally my work every day I have this with me and it's just, it's amazing. You can even see how much I use it. Can you see it's rubbing off? Do you see it? <laughs> I'm literally rubbing the paint off because I'm constantly like holding it like all the time. So this, this is definitely my number one and it's not because it's anybody's it's because it's easy to fill. Love it. I lock them in. It just, it's just everything. It's everything. Love, love, love that. Love it. Actually, I have um, the quick custard in here. You did? When did you send that, Josh? All right, Becca, we'll be right here. Yes, my resin work is 510 stands. I make it's just that I feel like putting anything on it takes away from the look. <laughs> I make oh, that's probably why I didn't get it. I make donuts and I make skulls. I'm a skull fanatic. I really like the orbs. I don't have any left in my house, though. <laughs> they go away too quickly. They get snatched up. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. 
Fresh isn't going to be able to make it today. Oh, no. Yeah. I sent him a crying face, though. Okay. But yeah, he said he won't be able to jump in today. So he's probably either working late or he's probably got plans. So we will miss him today. We will keep him in our thoughts. He also had a bike accident on Friday that really hurt him. Oh, my God. Uh, no, he just fixed it. He hit some black ice and he ate some of it with his face and his head. Oh, you're kidding me. No, don't say that. Oh, poor guy. I'm so sorry. I'm going to send well wishes to him. Oh, ooh, I don't know if I could find the flashlight. Hold on. The toxic yeah. green ones that I did are glow in the dark. The ones with the black swirls. Oh, you, they are? Yeah, I just need to find my... You have a flashlight in your phone. You know that, right? It's uh, it's one of the purple. Oh, okay. To help it because the camera won't pick it up with the lighting in here. I'm sitting here doing way too many things. I feel like I'm ADD right at the moment. Like right now. Like seriously. Like... I'm ADD all the time. We're good. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> I guess I'm going crazy. I'm like, over here, over there, over... I still not waked. If I'm not doing something, you'll see my chair, like, ferociously rocking back and forth because I'm wiggling my legs so fast. Oh, shit. Okay. I have to do it again. Hold on. Did I lose my black light? Thank you, Josh. ADD and OCD. Um, that's pretty much me, Dante. Dante. Yes. On certain things. There are certain things that I, it just overwhelms me. So I have to like put it aside. But yeah, for the most part. Now to rewick. Is my cotton. Oh, I think the other day I pulled out cotton. Yes, I did. Okay, so we got cotton. We got cotton. We gonna hit this today. There's also something else I need to make, and I don't know what it is yet, but we'll think of it. Exactly. Yes, Dante. It just gets overwhelming. Hi, Thomas. How are you? Oh my God, today was hot in the afternoon. It was great. I, I don't like cold weather. I'm not good at cold weather. Uh, thank you, Becca. I am too. Hi, Frederick. <laughs> Greetings to you too, sweetie. If anybody's in chat and I haven't said hi, make sure that you say it again so I can see. Hi, Tammy. I have the live chat on, but by the time I look up, mm, yeah, sensory overload for sure. Come on now. Don't give me no problems. If I was my black light, where would I be? Um, I would say on the shelf underneath the skulls. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the lights on. <laughs> where was it? On my desk. Oh, okay. Exactly where you thought it was. The reasonable place for one. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how to do Oh my god, I know Joshua. It's been I don't know what's been going on with the weather in Florida and it's pissing me off. Mother Nature doesn't know this is Florida. Like it's supposed to be hot, not cold. Talking about 40, 50 degrees. I don't know where the hell they think I am. Like shit, I do not own a jacket. By the way, on March 9th, I won't be able to have a live stream. So I might have it either the day before or maybe the Saturday before. And also on May 12th, 12th, 13th, 14th, like the 11th or 12th, whatever that Monday is, I won't be able to have a live stream. 
In March, I'm supposed to be going to North Carolina for work. I have to go on an agency visit to there. Um, and then in May, I have to go to Chicago because I couldn't get out of it this year. So, yeah. So you can kind of see him still glowing in the corner right there. Yeah, I see him. So those are going to be the only two days that there will not be a Wendy show or Mondays. Um, oh, I do not like 40 degree weather. Yeah, everything's under Lumi's desk. I'm in South Texas. What's this cold you speak of? Yes, I know, Kristen. That's how it's supposed to be in Florida. And I don't know why, but all of a sudden the cold came over here and then it left and then it came again. And then it left. By flat earthy theory, the aliens toying with that. Yep, pretty much. I believe that wholeheartedly. It's the aliens or Mother Nature or whoever they call this Mother Nature. Chicago, you say. Yes, I have to go for work. I'm literally going there. The hotel's across the street from the office. I have to go there, spend the day there, go back to the hotel to work, and then go back the next day, do some more training over there, then go back to the hotel and work for the night. And Adam, yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to be doing for four days. Adam Polarczyk is in Chicago. Yeah, I figured that's why he said Chicago, you say, but I won't be able to do anything. I literally am going to have to just be in the hotel or be at the office, which really sucks because it's like, I have to go, but it's not like I can do anything while I'm there. It sucks. Oh. I need to get like those smart lights that I could just turn on and off from my phone. That would be nice. Yes. Or clap. <laughs> Just get the clapper. Okay, we got two on the third. Hi, Anthony. Welcome, sweetie. Hi, stinking Rex. <laughs> I had to slow that one down. Yeah, I, I messaged you back, stinking Rex. Or stinking Rex. I keep calling him so Rex. <laughs> Sorry, Hi, I take a phone Andy. call. I had to take a phone call, sorry. Really? I didn't call you. <laughs> we're going we're gonna go to a um an insurance analyst, I guess, advisor. Oh, okay. For health insurance because I'm retiring at the end of the month. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That I is so awesome. I don't think I'll ever be able to with the rate of pay that I get. Oh, <laughs> The other when you thing, have a one income household, there is no retiring. Well, it was a cursing and a blessing. We were never able to have kids and we, you know, even though yeah. we tried, but so I'm sure I wouldn't be retired if we had ever had kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem is kids. I can't even save because by the time I have a couple dollars and my kids are like, mom, this happened. I'm like, okay, here's my last $5. Yeah. I'll be your kid and I'll take care of you. Aww. <laughs> Lumi, yeah, I, like I already you. told one of them that, that you know she was supposed to be taking care of me. I'm I'm starting to believe that that has changed. Oh, yeah, because it's like yeah, the rudeness has started. Yeah, uh. but don't worry because we've got a good dental plan for when I knock her teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> because she's about to learn. I'll one shot. To I'll what, have to w learn how to take care of people, but I'll take care of people. I just, it's so hard. Nowadays, you can't have a single a single person in the household. You just can't do it. It's like it's to a, survive with a single income, it sucks. It's a struggle. My husband mm -hmm. is the only one in the house that can work because of my medical problems. So that's yeah. why I do so many of the Lumi projects because I just try to see if I can help out here and there. Right. And it keeps me amused. It keeps me occupied from thinking about being in a single income household. Yeah. And it and it keeps you in flavoring. Yeah. It keeps you vaping. Right. Yep. My Twitch paycheck goes towards helping out with buying new flavors and resin and colorings. I don't get a paycheck. <laughs> I just do this for fun. <laughs> So what did I miss? I had you guys muted. Oh, you did? 
Nothing. I was re-wicking. I finally got all four setups wicked, so we can start making something. I'm definitely gonna make the bay list. And then there was something with waffle because that's the reason why you guys told me to get the waffle. And I, I, I don't know what else. Something else, I guess. We'll figure it out as we go. Right. Yeah. Now, Lumi, what did you make for Vixens? Um, I didn't get to look at the email. An eggnog. Oh, is it? Horchata eggnog. I, I started watching, but then the Super Bowl came on. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of eggnog is it? It's um, I used horchata by flavor by flavora, eggnog by flavora, vanilla pudding by flavora, sweet coconut by flavora, and one on one vanilla whipped cream. I think to give it an extra filling mouthfeel to it. Uh -huh. I I think I have all those flavors except for the horchata. That's the one I didn't get from them. Remember that you guys were asking? Yeah, horchata is kind of similar to an eggnog drink, except it doesn't have the eggy notes to it. And it has I some and cinnamon, and eggnog doesn't have cinnamon, right? Uh, that part I don't remember. I just yeah. don't like them. <laughs> well, I mean, real horchata has cinnamon in it. It's like a cinnamon rice milk. Yeah, Kristen, I can only imagine. It just, it's really, it's just, it's a struggle every single day. It's it really is. I mean, I try, but I just do what I can do. That's all we can do, um, right, Wendy? Huh? That's all we can do. That's all I can do. Yeah. I mean, I have stuff put aside just in case emergencies that I know where to go and get some money for it. But that's about it. You know, those X's and <laughs> the jewelry <laughs> still sitting there in a safe place just in case I ever get to those days. Because I'm one that I really don't, I don't do pawns and all that, but it, I have it put aside just in case, God forbid, I can't eat, you know? Ah, horchata has rice milk in it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Hi, Stian. Stian, I hope I'm saying that right. Remember the small things and you will not care much for the money. I don't care for the money. It's not the money. It's the paying the bills and the lights and keeping the roof over my head. That's what I care about. Um, and paying, you know, to, to get to work and spending freaking two hours on the road just to get there and get back. Yeah, I do. The only problem is, is honestly, and this is where I feel really, really bad. My, I, I, I don't know how to explain this. I, I'm going, I've been going through a lot of personal stuff on the backside that I just don't bring out to the front side because, well, who wants all their business all over, you know, the internet and stuff like that? Well, due to that, I haven't really been able to do nothing on my Patreon page. And um, it sucks because what I need is the money to send all the packages out because I have packages for every single one of my Patreons as a Christmas gift. Um, but it's just having all that money to, to ship it all out that I haven't been able to do, which has been making me a little bit more depressed. And it's been making me more anxious so i've been stressing over that because i need to do that and i thought i actually to try to catch up on my bills i did try to reach out and take some money out of my 401k just to get caught up but it wasn't enough so i'm still like there struggling and yeah so i mean i'm trying i'm trying i mean that's all i can do but it makes me feel guilty for my patrons because you know they're there every single month and i can't i i it's like i it, i'm i don't want to show my face because i feel like i'm 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 not worthy of them so it's like it really is it, it makes me feel bad it really you does. know what the thing though Wendy? you know what's really nice is christmas in july yes christmas in july around my birthday is absolutely amazing but, you know, I've been trying and I thought that January, you know, I was definitely going to get it this month. I wasn't able to. What I really wish is that you could do live streaming on the Patreon. I think that would help me out a lot because even if you notice, I don't even post as much because I'm working so much that I can't remember. I used to post all over. the. I mean, everybody would see me posting everywhere. I don't even get that opportunity anymore because of the fact that I'm working so much. And it just, it really breaks my heart that I can't give back. And I have everything here. 
I mean, I've got something for every single person that I can ship to, you know, not internationally, but, you know, within the U.S. I've got it here. It's just finding the money to get those particular things out. It's like something else comes up, like the water's about to be shut off. Or the light, you know what I mean? So everything else comes into play and I just can't do it. So I, I'm really trying. It's just, you know, I lost money because I was making a little bit of cash from the affiliate links. I was making about a hundred dollars a month from YouTube. Plus I had my patron and all that went away. You know, that little bit of extra that was keeping me going. So when that went away and of course it just drops, it's not like you see it's going to happen. That put me behind and I just kept getting behind. Yeah. That's and, the yeah. and since I have a student loan, I don't get taxes because they take my taxes every single year because I'm still paying on my student loan that they want $1,200 a month for a payment. And oh I can't do twelve hundred a month, so I they take my taxes. So you educated? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I, that I'm educated, and um, I'm still paying for it, and I will pay for it until the day that I die, apparently, because <laughs> it's never gonna go away. But that's why I feel guilty because it's like I keep wanting to go on to, to Patreon, but I feel like I can't face them because I feel like I'm, I don't know. The only way to explain it is like I'm not worthy of their their support. Oh, go on Patreon and tell them the same thing you just told us. I know. And Zero told me to do that too. But it's like every time I go to do it, I feel I get like really, really anxious. I mean, you Honestly, know, you're, you're... I think having any kind of a struggle, I, I know people like it's not so much to be like, oh, woe is me. This is what I'm dealing with. The reason why I share the struggles with medical problems or money or anything is just to show that I'm surviving it and you can too. So I think despite wanting to keep your private life private it's also a... well because i don't want it to be a what was me because remember last year i went through so much, it was like i was getting tired of hearing that i had so many issues you know it's like really i mean i would literally sit yes i talked to myself i would literally sit there and say wendy what the hell's wrong with you again and i'm like yeah i know another freaking thing has happened so i don't know i'll get it up I think that helps other people too. Like I go through that same stage, like every day is a struggle for me because of the medical problems that I have. And God forbid I actually catch a cold or something. And then I feel a little bit sicker. I'll start to feel a little bit more useless. It brings on a bunch of depression, but I think sharing that helps get over it. And it also helps people see, Hey, you can do it too, because I'm doing it. It might help them get through it. Yeah, but I've been struggling literally all my life, and I'm tired of it. It's really hard. You know, you need to find a rich girlfriend, Wendy. I know. I've been trying. I had one, but she was a cheater, so that didn't work out well. I don't well, like we love, we love you. I know. I love. If you I too. was rich, I would help you. I don't. You know, it's so funny because people are like, "Oh man, you know." I wish you would win the lotto. And I'm like, you know what? If only I could just pay off the biggest debts that I have, I wouldn't even care. I don't I don't want a million dollars. I just want to pay off like that student loan that's taking all my money. They started garnishing my wages. It's just been like really hard. You know, because they take your money before you even get it. So it's like I'm literally trying to work just for them to take my money. Yeah, you, you see why people go on welfare, you know? Yeah. But it's what it is. And I just keep trying to keep going. And that's why Mondays mean so much to me. Because it literally gives me that that um, kick, you know, to keep going for the week. You're getting lots of loves and hugs out there. Oh, uh, thank you. Well, they can't take this away from us. No, definitely not. It's just, it's just, it's every single month. I'm like, I have a goal. I'm going to do this next month. And then the next month comes and something else happened. And then like my, I was supposed to catch up. My daughter got in a car accident. So then she needed help. And it's like, all right, okay. So now I'm trying to help her and I'm struggling. So now I'm going to struggle more because I'm going to help my kid. You know, my kid's going to come first. 
And it's just, it's, it's every single month. It's every single month. I, and I have two grown and still I, I have, it's always been just me and my girls, you know, I've never had help. I've never gotten child support, you know, for any of them. I've always done it on my own and it just gets really hard. Exactly, Lawless. And if you no, but the, what's funny is that my student loan got sold to somebody else. My student loan, which is a lot, it's three hundred dollars a month with my normal payment. But I was trying to pay it, and I was staying on top. Then they sold it. The new people all of a sudden send me a bill for eight hundred dollars. I'm like, why is it an eight hundred dollar bill? What are you talking about? They were like, well, no, your normal payments are going to be twelve hundred and thirty six dollars a month so that we can have it paid off in 10 months. I'm like, I can't pay more than I pay in my freaking house. <laughs> like, how, how is that gonna be possible? What, am I living in the car? What am I doing? There's no way. A month, $1,236? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and they were like, well, you have to be, I was like, I couldn't do it. So they, I, I couldn't pay it because that's what they wanted. So I was trying to pay the minimum. So they started garnishing my wages. Asshole. So now they just take that out. No, Vans, I can't because it's actually one of those. What do you what do you call it when they do the student loan? They a consolidation. So I can't. Oh, I've been trying, Sherry, for years. I've been trying to get this shit off my back because it's it's been like a long time. I've been dealing with this a long time. Exactly. No. And when I looked, when I went on to see how much was going to my loan, none of it is going to my loan. None of the money that I've been paying them is going not even $1 to my loan. So how am I ever going to pay it off? And that's just it. No, you can't claim it on bankruptcy. Tried that. <laughs> I did have to claim bankruptcy um, a few years back and I lost my car. I lost everything because of bankruptcy. The judge wouldn't even let me keep my car because he said, well, if you're going bankrupt, you can't afford your car either. So we're going to take that off too and took my car. So, I mean, I've been through so much. I mean, I literally, I could literally write a book. Like if I wrote a book, it would probably be a bestseller because I've been through so many different things throughout my life. But it's just it's hard it's so hard and that's why no and then I've had already two surgeries two main major surgeries and I did all those on my own it's always hard it's really really hard I but that's should, why we have Mondays you should write a book and become famous if only I had the time <laughs> this is a time that's just never enough time there's literally I get done with work and I'm like are you freaking killing me Oh, I can't, I don't even have enough time in the day. Yeah, but Demelon, my income is not considered low for the normal standard. But what happens is that because everything is being garnished out, it makes the overall low, but they go by your gross, not by your net. So by gross, I'm good. But after you take out the insurance that I can't use because I can't afford the deductible, um, but you have to have insurance because of the law, you know, um, so I pay in, in health insurance and all that. I pay a month, almost $600 that comes out automatically. Then you have, you know, the garnishment, then you have the taxes. And then by the time that you end up with the net, you don't have nothing, but anywhere that you go to see about your income, they go by the, yeah, exactly. I'm caught in the middle. They go by your gross. They don't care about your bills. Oh, I, I get it, Joshua. Definitely. But so I can't, I can't ever get on any of these programs for any type of help. So basically it's a single income household. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, I've actually had people reach out and just basically just out of randomness, send me money through PayPal, just like it'll just show up just to help me out in those days. Those are usually the days when it comes through. It's so weird because that's the day that I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put food in the house. It's been that bad. 
but it's like miracles just happen all of a sudden i'll just get money in my paypal and i can get food i just don't say nothing oh this isn't supposed to be a sad monday i have to make some damn freaking bait and bayless that's it it could be it could be a little sad and then it could be a little happy i guess no people don't like sad Fuck what people want, honestly. If people no, they want drama, not sadness. <laughs> like, I'm just crazy. never mad at anybody. <laughs> Screw the people who think you're doing the woe is me. I think it makes you that much stronger that you're able to share it and people can relate to you more. So fuck anybody else that's like, oh, she's looking for attention. Screw them. You don't need them. You're sharing your story and it's going to help somebody else out who might be going through the same thing. Yeah, but I ugly cry, and I don't like that. <laughs> That's what my daughter calls it, so. She's always like, Mom, you can't do that because you ugly cry. <laughs> so I'm going to make some damn Bayless. I don't even know what I need. What do I need? Just the Bayless? Yep. All right. I love easy shit. What's, what's the percentage, Loomis? I use it at 8%. She wants it a little bit stronger, I think. So maybe 8.5 for Wendy. Yeah, a little bit flavorful because I'm going to put in my RTA problem. Most Wendy probably. likes that full flavor. I really do. She likes it robust. Oh my gosh, I love bust. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Let's go ahead and put this over here. I don't even know how to spell it. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so let's make a whole 60. And it's going to be 3 and 20 and 3 and 20. Max! And this 8.5. And then that's it? Yep. It's just cool. a one shot. <laughs> Here we go. Then. Remember those days, the one shot days? It was so easy. Oh my God, I remember. I think I made it like three of them. <laughs> That's something I really enjoy and think every mixer should find, especially if you do go through any form of like sickness or depression, because sometimes you just don't have the energy to be like, I'm going to do all of this. And yeah. So if you can find one one shot that's just a simple, hey, like I started measuring out my bottle like I marked my bottle this is where I fill with my Bayless and that's where I fill with my premix cheater ah cheater makes life so <laughs> much easier when you're in a rut and you just want something to vape you just exactly oh I get it that's how All I right, make, my, so... make my, my premix base now I just put lines for VG lines for PG <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do yeah yeah I need to get another one because the thing is, is that when mine gets down to like this much, I just go and fill it again. So I never can do the lines because it's never fully empty. Like today, I mean, my, my, that wasn't one of the reasons why I was too late, two minutes coming on late because I was making my premix. So I've never actually put Bayless in an RTA. So if you have the ability to try it in an RDA and an RTA, I would like your feedback on yeah, well, I'm gonna do it in an RDA and then I'm gonna put in my RTA as soon as I ever wick it. I take my, I gotta vape the rest of my ignore. Actually, I'll oh. probably put in my other RTA. We'll see. I have so many liquids that it's out that just so much DIY is crazy. <laughs> I just got another nail polish rack. I just don't have a place to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Bayless is a one-shot flavor by Mullenberry. It's a very light flavor for me, in my opinion, and that's why I like it. It's not too sweet, but for me, it's an all-day bakery. It's um, a sugar cookie, like a sugar wafer cookie, with like chocolatey hazelnut spread in between it. Then that's that's what I taste. So where it's not too strong, it doesn't make you feel sick after vaping it. For yeah, because it's too sweet. Yeah. Like, this has been the only thing that you guys have seen me probably vaping consistently. I've never had something that's been an all-day vape until I found Bayless. 
Um, Ricky, this I got at Liquid Barn, right? Is that that where we got these at Liquid Barn, the big one? I think I no, it was at um Nick River. Yeah, Nick River, not Nick River. It's called River Supply Co. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. River Supply Co. When I bought my nicotine and my VGPG, I bought the 500 mil uh, bottle so I can make my premix in. And I wish they had like a thousand of them because this is like it was so quick for me. You can get liter bottles. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to do that. But I like them when they, when you can see through them because I have the other ones too. But I mean, you can't really see through them. Funnel. Yep, because I'm I am not gonna take the time for that to come out that little hole. <laughs> it says sixty six point seven six. Nah, there we go. This is so much faster. Eight percent, you say, Lumi? Yep, and it's still surprisingly light, even at eight percent. God, how many drops is that? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> That's why I eventually just, since it became my all-day vape, I just got a 120 bottle and marked it up so I could just be like, this is where I like it. Ten. Here we go. Maybe it's six. Seventy-five. Ah, lid. Close. Okay, now where are my pliers? Where are my favorite pliers? You're not my favorite. You're my favorite. I know, right, Ricky? Yeah, that's what I thought. And um, I'm actually like, this is the VG I bought, and it's like already under half done. Because you're a mixing animal. A year, they said. <laughs> <laughs> my nicotine's almost, my nicotine's only like this much in it. Holy crap. Ooh. A year, they said. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lot more than I thought. Oh, no, I vape a lot, like a lot. My husband and I go through the 500 in the year. No, I'm, yeah, no. <clears throat> I, this holds 15 mils of e-liquid, and I usually fill this up four times a day. And I'm vaping other things, too. They let you vape at work? No, I vape on break. But when I do, I vape the hell out of it. <laughs> Max! Dog needs to go out. There we go. All right. So it's time to mix it. Exactly. There's a reason why I like that. That's why I'm always saying in my reviews, I wish I had a bigger e-liquid capacity because I hate filling every five minutes. My coils last like about four months. I use coil clout coils though, and I just clean them off and reburn them and make sure that they're heating up evenly and they're have good to, to go again. Mini coils. It lasts almost a year. Um, it doesn't Addie's fit in everything. That's the only problem. <laughs> or Addie's custard was that the one that Fresh made in your <clears throat> honor, Addie Tooney? That was Addie's yogurt. Yep. But what about the custard? There was an Addie's custard. Yeah, that was my, re my recipe. Yeah, that was his recipe. I know I go through lots of my chain vaping, but I doubt a bottle would last me a whole year. At least. Yeah, exactly, Dante. It's not. No, it doesn't. It smells good, Lumi. Ah, uh, thank you, Sherry. Well, we're making 10 mil recipes because I haven't made anything worth vaping at this rate. Anything will last a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I literally, I have only made one recipe that I was like, eh, no, two. That I was like, mm, no. 
And that was unfortunately it was Addie's Addie's yogurt. I just I think it was the yogurt um, that it was it just wasn't sitting with me. And then the other one was a banana nut bread that we made, and I just didn't like it. It just it was something about it, and it never cleared up. I don't know. I must have mixed it wrong because it never went clear ever. It was always foggy. So let's go ahead and try this biatch. <clears throat> Mind you, I also do vape this Bayless on a five millimeter, 14 strand Celtic braid. So my flavor might be a little bit different. I'm it's more of a out. dense vape whenever you vape on a braid. It's kind of like vaping out of a mesh tank, except a lot more surface area because you're also dripping. I smell it when I just fired it before I even vaped it. I smelled like the, the hazelnut note. The chocolate and hazelnut is definitely on the exhale. But I'm trying to guess the flavor on the inhale. Giant loomy braids in the drop united. Nice and bubbly. Yeah, mine too. Look at my bubbles. I always make lots of bubbles. <laughs> Definitely a chocolate hazelnut on the exhale. And it's very it's very smooth. It's definitely very smooth. What else is in it other than the chocolate and hazelnut? There's um that there's a very light like sugar wafer cookie note to it. Maybe that's what it is. No, that I'm getting on the exhale with the chocolate and the um and the hazelnut. But I'm getting something on the inhale and I can't place it. But like all those flavors are coming through on the exhale. I'm getting the chocolate, then I'm getting the the um, hazelnut, and then I'm getting the wafer right at the end. Very good though. It is good. And it's got a lot of flavor. So now I just got to put it in an RTA. And try it in an RTA in my baby box. <laughs> Why not rewick when we can? Because I needed to anyways. <clears throat> How should you clean your coils? I actually have a video out. Somebody had found it last week. Um, and what I do is I actually just take like, you know, I'll take the cotton out like this. And I take a really soft toothbrush. And I like Dawn dish liquid. That's just my favorite. And I just lightly just scrub them. Rinse it. Not in hot water. In cold water. Just rinse it off and then dry it up a little bit and then put it on my mod and then start heating it on a low wattage. Anytime that you're heating up your coils to get them to heat evenly, make sure that you're doing it at a low wattage. Don't burn it because if you do it at a high wattage, you will burn the coils out. You can damage the wraps on them. This one is the, oh my God, I know it's my favorite one. What's the favorite of this year? <clears throat> oh my God, I've been using this one nonstop. Um, this one is the, oh my God, what's it called? Oh my God, with the W. Garage. No, it's with the W. It's that one that you can change out the freaking air flows. The, oh my God. The wasabi, the, the whale. <laughs> no, it's the one that was, um, it's by it Vandy Vape. Hold it up. Huh? Hold it up. Hold it up. It's got a small deck. 
I have to take these out anyway. Hold on. Widowmaker? Oh, maker? God. Uh, it's the Widowmaker. Oh, huh? thank you. <laughs> that was Chris. Widowmaker yeah. RTA. I'm like, oh my God, I know this is like my favorite of 2019. So, that uh, was it. Patty Songs, oh. I would, that, that can be very different. There's a few sites that I trust, but sometimes sites have sales, sometimes sites don't have sales. Remember this one, Wendy, the IPv3? Yes, <laughs> that one is awesome. The IP, all the IPVs, I think, are just amazing. Just gonna burn this baby up. Oh my gosh, I'm, I can't believe you already have it in there. Did you have a five millimeter rod? Chris, I forgot to charge my rod too. Hi, Patty. Patty. So what do you got to do a review next week? Oh my gosh, I've got the Novo too. Is it Novo, Navi, Novo? One of those, and then I've got my Mech Life, my, um, my Mech Life pod. I've got a Pike pod. I've got an artery pod. I've got oh my god, is it called Novo Nord Two? The Nord Two. Um, and then Smoke is coming out with another one, but I, I'm not allowed to show it, and it's this one here, which is coming out <laughs> soon. This one here is coming out soon. This one I'm testing. You're fancy got yeah. stuff that you can't show. I, I can't show you that one, but so far I'm really, really liking it. <laughs> How many MLs in the Widowmaker? Um, this one, I, I think it was four. It's a really small amount of um, MLs, but it's so freaking good, though. I really like it. The flavor on it compares it reminds me this reminds me of my aromamizer plus except for my aromamizer plus is 30 mils and it holds 15. um yeah so other than that it's it vapes like it <laughs> really really like it um starting into diy can be a little daunting um if you catch me during a free time i'm more than help happy to get into a video chat as long as you're wearing a shirt and pants no shirt no service um, <laughs> and help you out with figuring it out and starting you off if you're more of a i learn by one-on-one -on -one attention yeah and, you can always, don't know. and anybody who's just tuning in you can go back to the very beginning of one of these diy she opens a box and starts without a clue Yep, I literally, the very, very first one was finding out what I needed. The next one was finding out the one shots and what flavors I could start with that would be easy. The premix base, I think, is key um, for a newbie. And because of the fact that you don't know, you know, where you are in it, and especially being that you're new to it, what if you don't like it or you don't continue it? I don't, I don't um, recommend going out and buying nicotine and VG and separately I would definitely just go and buy the premixes they come like this like this is a three mil pre premix and it's already got your VG and your PG and your nicotine already in it and these are about $8.99 on liquid barn and those are just that's how I started I went months with those that kind until I started making my own I recommend that at first especially for somebody starting out because of the fact that you don't know Maybe it's something that you like to do. Maybe it's something that you're not going to continue doing. So until you know like where you are with it, I would suggest those. Hi, Sporky. Sporkly P. Battery is low on here. And if you don't have a shirt, you can head over to Vaping Swag and get yourself <laughs> a Fresh and Friends 
shirt. You could even wear a Lumi shirt and really surprise me by having a Lumi shirt on while I'm helping you. Yeah, that means that you'll get extra attention. Maybe even another free, you know, session. If I, <laughs> the the if only I see way you, you help them. Yeah, if I see you wearing a Fresh 03 Addy Tooney Lumi meter or <laughs> Adam Polarzik shirt, you got my full attention. <laughs> Can't let that cool down. I mark my bottle before I forget. Yeah. Oh my God. I hate when that happens. I do that and then I'm like, yeah, I'll just go back on the live stream and watch yeah, I'll it. Remember. And figure it out. I'll remember what And then I gotta watch it. I'm like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and wick this baby up. I have a Swaggy package, I believe, in my mailbox. I think that might be from Swaggy. Nice. That would be sweet. I might have to run down and grab it real quick. Yep. I can't let anything sit in my mailbox. I'm like, gotta get the mail, gotta get the mail. I just love mail. I like absolutely love mail. When I don't have mail, I usually have like a depressing day. Yeah, I can talk to you about it, Sherry. You can um, message me on any of my social media. The thing is, is that sometimes I can't reply right away because I do have a full-time job and I also do reviews. So sometimes it's a little bit hard, but um, for starting out vaping, I would definitely just start out with, you know, a regular sub home tank. If you want to start building, you definitely want to start looking at before any of that. You want to look up Ohm's Law and battery safety. That you want to go ahead and Google, or not Google, but do a search on um, YouTube and watch those first. That knowledge you need to have before you can start building, at least in my opinion. And we've all been there because you need to know, you know, what your batteries can handle. You also need to know, like, um, what the resistance is, what is, what are ohms, you know, start it there. Because without that knowledge, it's like driving a car without knowing how to start it. Use a simple X squonk. Okay, that's the, that's the RDA one for mouth to lung, correct? Sorry, I think that one's been like over a year ago, so I might not remember everything about it. But you definitely want to know that before building, you really, really need to know the basics. Way before coils and everything. I'll put in a link for the premix that you can get off of Liquid Barn. Thank you. For 500 mLs, you can pick out the nicotine strength that you want. There's either no nicotine, 3%, aka 3 milligram, 6 milligram, 12 milligram, and the other one doesn't matter. Yeah, I usually use 3 milligram. That's what I use. Um, so I think he wants to know if you got your package, Addy. Thank you. I was just replying. Yeah, we didn't. Oh. Check, we didn't check the night. It was one of those strange nights. It was just too Hi, much, Scott. a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, oh my God, today was crazy. This whole week has been crazy. I feel bad. I shipped out everybody's packages on Friday. I went to the post office with 10 packages. Mr. Lumi lost all of my tracking information. <laughs> so I had to go find it in his car and then I finally found it and everybody's already got all their packages today so I've, been sending, <laughs> I've been sending everybody the images of their tracking information like oh by the way you should probably have this but here you go here's the tracking anyways I'm normally much more on top of it but it's it's been a crazy week it's just been insane and work has been so hard with these with the system issues we've been having it's just been getting so frustrating the other day at work, I literally just stood up in the middle of doing what I was doing and went and took a walk because I was getting so frustrated. And like at work, I have to multitask, like do a thousand things at once. And I couldn't finish any one thing. It was just really frustrating. 
And like I said, I'm about seven days minimum behind on everything I have to do. Hi, ghost babes. Yeah, remember how yes, that is normal, Sherry. How these things came apart, Wendy? Is you had to slide the door off? Yeah. <laughs> that old school. What? There was no popping none off. <laughs> Got this out more. Charge them up. All right, what are we going to put this on, Wendy? What are you going to put on? Oh. What did you make? The Bayless. Oh, you did? Did you try it already? Or are you waiting to try no, it? I'm just putting the, uh, just getting the, uh, a Mac ready. All right. I'm excited. Well, Tofu Phantom. Remember the Phantoms? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. I have an I have idea. School. Going out to the post office? Going to the mailbox. <laughs> and I could be in here while I do it, as long as I can figure out how to get my holster onto my stretchy pants, because I don't have a belt. I should probably have a belt. Do I own a belt? Ah! I found a belt. We're good. You got it? Oh no, I've gotten too chubby for this belt. Son of a bitch. Oh. Just put it halfway. Nobody will notice. I'm gonna squeeze. Oh. Haha. Oh god. Hmm. This is nice, Lumi. See? It's just it's on the inhale. It's a flavor and I can't quite put my finger on it. On the exhale, I'm getting everything. I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting the the hazelnut, and then I'm getting the wafer. Oh my god, I'm too chubby to get my holster on here now. Here we go. Put my wallet on me since I am concealed carrying and I need to make sure I have my permit with me at all times. My yes. mailbox is a troop, so I have to prepare myself for these adventures to make sure I don't get eaten <laughs> by wild animals or mugged by a bring, stranger. Bring your, bring your water bottle and a flashlight. Working on it. I'm going to hop and zoom on my phone so we can all go with me. <laughs> we'll, we'll all be witnesses. That would be funny. You'd be like, I've got like 60 witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're going to put this on an RTA and C. Let me dump this part out. Yeah, I, I get the inhale too. I think it might even actually be. Are you see? You see what I mean? It's like something, but you don't know what it is. I think it's a little alcohol. Maybe it'll burn off as it steeps out. Right. Yeah, I think it's alcohol. Okay, so it's not just me then. You, now you know what I'm talking about. Yep. It's just something weird on the inhale, but then you get all the flavors on the exhale. Yep, and she's walking. She's walking. I go out walking after midnight, hot in the moonlight. Just hoping you may be somewhere walking after midnight. Searching for no me. shooting any bunnies, Lumi, or anything. I would never shoot a bunny. I would not die. a bunny. If I got attacked by a bunny, I would rather die and just let the bunny attack me. <laughs> If you don't have e-juice that has nothing but sweetener, you will change out your cotton. But my juice, I don't have to. Yeah, if you're the more sweetener you have in your e-liquid, like the sweeter it is, the more flavorful, like num, 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 like that, that means it's got a lot of sweetener in it. Yeah, the sweet lips. And the sweetener will kill your coils and your cotton. Yeah, that's when sometimes you gotta have a brass brush. Them. Yeah, see, Sherry, I would venture into getting something that's a direct lung first before you start building, unless you're going to be building 
on something that is another mouth to lung device. A lot of RTAs and RDAs are direct lungs. So you gotta be careful which one you're getting. If you're looking for something that's gonna give you that same mouth to lung, building is not gonna definitely do it. Thank you, Robert. I sung that years ago. Can't forget it. <laughs> See, we talk about rabbits and Wendy breaks in the song. <laughs> Yeah, well, she was walking after midnight in the moonlight. Just hoping you may be somewhere while walking. I stopped to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. I'm glad you're singing now, Wendy. <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> now that my eyes are still blurry. <laughs> Lumi lost her wireless is her cellular. Oh, she's back. Did she get it? Okay. There's no signal by the mailbox. I don't know what she's doing. I yes, I do, Zero. <laughs> I forgot my phone was connected to my Wi-Fi. So when I got to the bottom of my first driveway. You lost your signal. <laughs> That's the joys oh, of moving no, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I have to travel down my driveway. Then I have to travel down the private road that I live on. You need like a fun, a fun little mini bike or something, Lumi. I gave it to my sister because I thought she might need it a little bit more than me, but apparently she doesn't use it. I want it back. Yeah, you've been asking for it back for a while now, right? Yeah, she doesn't have a car though, so oh. that's why I gave it to her so she could get to place to place if she absolutely needed to. There we go. Let's close. Let's open. Close and close. Okay. Put this bad boy in here. Oh, I hate these tips. We should start oh, filling my packages with extra air so they can't fit them in my mailbox and they have to bring them to my house. <laughs> Just make them a little bit bigger. Um, actually, yeah, Light Bear, I have seen it. I doubt I'm going to get it for review, but I've seen it online. I don't usually get anything from Geek Vape. Hi, Deb. Hi, Cheryl. So, Spork Leafy, he made a pickle juice, Wendy. Really? I was going to say ooh, but I really like pickles, so I was like... <laughs> I think he got dill pickle what? from one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> uh, thank you, Spork Life. And I think Fresh had to mix some yogurt in with it to kind of mellow it out a little bit. Is, it's and called. Did it work? It's called pickle liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of people have tried it. I haven't tried it. Still getting that flavor on the inhale. Hopefully, that I, I just, huh? Hopefully, it's just the, the ethyl alcohol it'll steep out. But you know what I'm getting at, right? Yeah. That's why I was like, it's not like a flavor. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Okay, we're walking back to the house. But that exhale is just like on point. Yeah. Well, did you get a package? There is a package and a bill. I'm not looking forward to the bill. Yeah, just leave the bill in the box. <laughs> I have to charge my mod. I mean, just put it on my charmed mod. I got a clean Night, eye. Mel. Love you. See you on Facebook. Night. Mel got um, one of these. She got the Flintstones on it. Oh, cool. Yeah. It looks really cool. Afterward, I was like, wow, that could have been something. But I really like my charm mod instead. Yeah, that, that works. That works, Sherry. Cheryl. I know what I'm trying to say. There we go. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Yes, please. So I ordered some bottles yesterday from uh, dropper bottles. Yeah, the, the wide mouth ones. 
Yeah, the ones like like mine. Are they the black top ones? No. These are the ones that I've been using. Okay, yeah, you got the pet, the pet. Yep. Yeah. I got the ones um like these only they only have black tops on them. Those are the ones that I need to get because though but the only thing is is like mixing in them. They don't have a really wide thing. Oh, these ones are super wide. Can I see one? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. And those are cheaper, aren't they? 30 cents a piece. 30 times 10 would be, okay. Yeah, 30, I think it's like 30 or it was 30 or maybe a little bit more than 30. And you got how many? Uh, 200. Yeah, that's cheaper than mine. I was trying to figure out why I was getting motion sickness and I realized I'm still wearing my magnifying glasses. Oh, which, that'll do it. <laughs> which are only meant to be used for reading or on my computer. <laughs> You're so silly. <sighs> I think in my ex, um, the X one that, that Sherry has, I think I made my own coil in that review. The simple X, I don't remember. Let me see something. Because I, I know what my, what what thing she has. It's just I can't remember like what it is. You know what I mean? So what you mean? Um, you know, somebody build somebody somebody builds coil coil installs yes. hundreds. I can't remember. Oh shit! Now I gotta. There we go. Okay, let's turn these volumes off. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So vinyl simple. stretch. Vinyl stretch. Don't be playing the when Wendy vapes um videos without our permission. So freaking put the hammer on you. <laughs> if I look at this one, I just want to move. Hi everybody. Up. Nope. That's not. All right. That's a simple X. I need to see it. Well, that's a good price, Karen. I've gotten their um. 30 mil gorillas. Because it's a mouth to lung coil. Yeah, those had the mouth to lung Clapton coils that came with it. Oh, honey, I'm You home. can do regular round wire on it, but you would have to do, depending on the gauge of the wire, you do want to put more wraps to make a higher resistance um, for mouth to lung. But you can use regular round wire. I wouldn't really recommend like any type of just a regular Clapton because that's a mouth to lung device. That's not a regular device, Sherry. So I would probably make, um, I've actually made some round wire builds for some of the mouth to lung RTAs. If you look up any of my mouth to lung RTAs, just do a search saying with MTL uh, RTA Wendy and they should come up. And you can see that I actually make my own round wire and what I do is I just I have um I buy these spools right here and I make my own round wire coils and there's actually um a tool that you can actually um look up online or on your phone that you can put in there to try to find out like what um how many wraps you need and that's steam-engine.org yeah but how many wraps on that because that's melt along wouldn't it be like um, 10 reps? I want to say it's 10 reps. Because I usually use 26 gauge. So like a 26 gauge, and I use stainless steel. And the inner diameter, target resistance, single coil, round wire. That's Canthal I want stainless steel. I usually use stainless steel. The stainless steel 316. 26 gauge and a target resistance inner diameter would be a three. You watch any Super Bowl, Wendy? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I'm not into football. I only watch the guys for the tight butts. <laughs> Halftime show was interesting. 
What I I I need to look it up because usually I look it up on YouTube afterward to see. Um, it was you know Shakira what went on and, and all the dances and everything and the halftime yeah. and all that. But it's so funny because every single time that I've I actually ever anybody's ever said, "Oh, are you gonna watch the Super Bowl?" I'm like, "No, but who's playing?" And they'll tell me, and I'll pick a team, and they always win. <laughs> Yeah, Shakira was there and uh, shaking her hips like crazy, and Jayla was on a stripper pole. Yeah, she's still doing her movie, huh? Yeah, I'm getting with a three millimeter inner diameter, a 0.8 resistance. Um, I'm getting about 11 reps uh, with 26 gauge, so that's perfect. Hi, Travis. How are you? Oh, you got a sticker. He got a new sticker, apparently. Awesome. Not one of these I get to show, Swaggy. I thought for sure the pair was going to be in here. I got this sticker, Lumi. Can't I show one of them that I'm more excited for, Swaggy? It'll actually be a higher amount of, yeah, up to about like 10 to 12 reps for a mouth along. Depending on the inner diameter, of course, but for a 26 gauge stainless steel single round wire coil with a three millimeter inner diameter, it's 11 reps for a 0.8 resistance. I love that exhale. I wonder if the, because she's been vaping it so long, she's not going to know what we're talking about on the inhale. But it's good. It is yeah. good, Yumi. Yeah. You did good. Okay, now we need to make one with this waffle that you made me buy. And we got to make one with that yogurt you made me buy. I didn't make you buy either. <laughs> you made me buy them because you kept talking about them. What did you make the last one that was a Belgian waffle? What were we discussing about the Belgian waffle was, that I had um, to get it? Blueberry jam with on the top of a Belgian waffle. Okay, and that was, was yours, right? We were. Yeah, but I okay, had well, I had the Mullenberry. I don't have Mullenberry blueberry. I know it. No, the Mullenberry, <gasps> the Mullenberry waffle, and how good it, it would be with the uh, swag VSO blueberry. No, but somebody told me to get the Belgian waffle from Liquid Barn. From Fresh Mullenberry. Told me to get that one. I think well, Fresh said the waffle from Liquid Barn is good. He said he likes that one. Yeah, that's the one that I got. Well, let's let's do a waffle. Yeah, but Sherry, you're going to have to find out what the resistance comes to because I'm telling you, it's going to be more reps than less reps for a higher resistance. That device requires you to use a mouth to lung um, type of resistance coil. Hi, Paranormal. Jackie, you have a great evening. Love you. Hi. Brandy says, my VSO is, order is coming. I can't wait. Oh, yay. Brandy, I can't wait for you to try them. Yeah, I didn't know I wasn't going to be able to share any of these. I wouldn't have just walked all the way down to my... Oh, bed. really? <laughs> He's like, by the way, don't share any of them. And you're like, well, why don't walk? Oh. This mod I had a custom made by Big Mike's Box Mods. He's on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. He's got a Facebook group. It's a DNA 250C, and that's that's fun. That's, that's amazing everything. graphics how he does that. I know it's so clear and it's so funny because I said I'm like, look at the because it's like um, what do you call it when you have a whole bunch of pictures? A collage. Yes. It's like everything's in there. I got the husbands at that one, and then here I got Cole with Phoebe and sisters. Is there any booty pictures on the inside cover? No. I put them all on the outside, but I just I just gave them a whole bunch of them. Oh, yes, you did, paranormal. Cherry, cherry. Awesome. Oh, I got permission to share one of them. Awesome. One. Oh my gosh, I want to try this. But now I need to try that. What were we making last week that we needed the yogurt that I couldn't make it because I didn't have the yogurt? I think you were more looking for a yogurt that wasn't so tangy so you could try the um Addie's yogurt maybe with a different yogurt i don't remember was it for a cheesecake 
I don't remember. You guys were, were making so much stuff last week with like yogurts and stuff, and I didn't have it. And then we had Belgium. Remember, he made a wall. He made a. He was making a crepe or something like that. Remember? Oh. And he used the waffle. Do you remember now? I'm starting to get it. Like, it was. It was not a pancake, and it wasn't because she was hungry. Remember when he made the waffle thing? Trace Leche's pancakes is one of them that we made. But did he use waffle? Hi, Alaska. Alaska. I want to say he. Oh my God, I hate when I can't remember. <laughs> ah. I don't know. Fresh has this beautiful mind that's and that always there's always something going on in there. I know, but remember he was making some 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 crazy shit. Oh my gosh! I know he was making something, and I was really depressed because I couldn't make it. <laughs> so Nobody, I was ignoring it. You can't drink all the cherry. You gotta put it away. <laughs> yeah. I'm debating on how I feel about it. Well, how do you feel? Torn. Like a piece of paper, or? <laughs> do you say porn? Porn. <laughs> yes, she's definitely porn. Yes, definitely porn. If I take too big of a lick, it almost tastes like the children's Tylenol cherry. But if it's just a little bit, it more tastes like that cherry jelly that goes on top of a cheesecake. So I guess I'll make a cherry cheesecake real quick. Like a cherry glaze. Oh, shit. If I cannot find something to make with this yogurt, I'm because I know he made something with it. I know he did. Crepe. No, that's Lumi's. Where is Freshy what? tonight? Um, he just said that he couldn't make it. Got it. MLK what wafers was that no, that wasn't it. He made it on the live stream. And now I can't, was it this one? What was last, let me see something. What was last? I thought Monday he was just day answering day. questions last week. Huh? I thought he was just answering questions last week. Well, then it was the week before. Okay. I don't remember a waffle. I'm sorry, I'm useless. Remember you were even looking up I, uh, uh, IHOP and all these other, oh, wa uh, the waffle place. You yeah, were hungry. I know he made a Trace Leche's um, pancake after I found out I hopped Yeah, out. but where is it? It's not even on here. Yeah, it was right, because Lumi was looking up the the place that grubs yes. or whatever. And I'm then trying to look up his recipes, and I don't see it there. Could be on all the flavors, because he goes back. Oh, that's where he made it. That's right. All the flavors. You're right. Okay. All the flavors. Got it. Yep, that's where he put the stuff where I can't find it. He's tricky like that. Lemon vanilla waffle? No. <laughs> you said that about Andy's candies, too. Yeah, I know, but just I've been doing so much lemon lately and lemon with the waffle. No. Vanilla waffle, I could probably go. But I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't What's the best vape for beginners? Um, I would I would definitely suggest something that's like a mouth to lung type of um, pod system just to start out. The Modi pod is good. The Nord is good. The oh my goodness, the Fetch is good. Um, there's one from Vupu too. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the Vupu Air is good. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can send you the link, Travis. Yeah, Modi is, the, yeah, the Modi pod with the one that you can refill, that one I recommend. I don't recommend the pre-filled ones. The Vinci X, I think, is a little bit too airy. The Caliburn, thank you. The Caliburn or the Coco? This is the Coco, because I keep the Coco right here with me, too. Coco I have so many The Coco's really nice. This is the Coco. 
Hey, Coco, a Caliber and Coco. This is really, really nice. This one, you don't have to worry about a power button or nothing. You just charge it and go. You fill up your pot and you just charge it and you go. And that's it. The Caliburn Cocoa or the Caliburn is good. The Modi's good. Those would be my first that I would look at. Yep. Or the Caliburn Cocoa. I love the Caliburn Cocoa because there's no buttons. There's nothing. You just literally vape it. There you go. Because like stuff like this is a little bit too, I think, direct lungy. For a beginner. Yeah, that's a cloudy pod. Wow. Yeah, I know. This is the Vaporesso one. Oh, was it was I Fresh talking it. about the cannoli, Wendy? Cannoli, cannoli. For the waffle? Um the cannoli. What cannoli? Chevy said maybe he was talking about uh, he was talking about a cannoli last week. No, that, no, that wasn't for no waffle. The waffle, the, no. Oh, for the waffle, maybe, I don't know. Let me look up. How do you search for a person on all the flavors? You can't, I right? I have no idea how to use Yeah, you, you can, you go to Mixer. Uh-huh. Wait, where's Mixer? More? It's at the top. Oh, somewhere. Mixers, okay. And let me see if he's on here. Fresh? Is he fresh and peas on all the flavors, Lumi? God, you think we would know? <laughs> fresh pies. I absolutely despise pies, yeah. all the flavors. He's fresh. Yeah, he's fresh and pies over there too. Okay. The only thing is, it doesn't like have dates, but like the first one that came up is slipping in Lumi's buttery waffles, and I think that's the one. Let's look. Classic Belgian waffle by Mulberry. I don't have. Yeah, everything I don't have. Uh, uh. Okay, forget that one. Let's see what else he's got. Tres Leches Pancake. Let's look at that one. That one, Condensed Caramel Milk. Don't have. Pancake, don't have. Strawberry Cheesecake. Wonder Flavors. I think I have. Strawberry Jam by, uh, oh, oh, oh. What is that? What one? You know, whatever. And we, I don't have those. Flavor Must Yogurt. Yes, but I don't have nothing else. <laughs> Mother Hubbard, man. This you is can make a yogurt, a yogurt parfait. This is really, really starting to get to me now. Um, yeah. All right, Cap Sweet Current. I don't have that one. Yeah. Sweet Strawberry. This is for the, um, which one is this one? The name of this one? Damn. This one is Crossing Strawberry Streams yields a wonderfully rich sweet strawberry custard with a hint of tartness from the sweet currant. Don't have that one. Um, my, my Milk. Damn, that looks good, too. With a picture of the kitty. Kitty. And then he's got some potatoes there, but they don't look like potatoes when you first look. <laughs> kind of looked a little dirty minded. Koala cake, wrong turn at Albuquerque, strawberry cheesecake cake. Man, I don't know. The drag mini is really, really good, Hugo. The drag mini is very good. Cobble together custard, impeachment, impeachment, Wendy's blue holes, yoda milk, green apple ice cream, with bits of green apple candy, no, red cheese, golden floppy bananas, no, Toonies fruit banana yogurt. That's the banana kiwi, strawberry banana kiwi yogurt, sweetened to taste. I honestly want to make a tasty basic shake and vape recipe based on the profile picture I stumbled across while on Wendy Vape's Moist Monday. It's smooth and tasty right off the shake. The strawberry will come out a bit more in three-day mark, while the kiwi will settle into more of a mid-tone. Um, be beautiful, educate, advocate for this cleaner. All right, let me see what's in there. TPA banana cream, might have it. Juicy strawberry, not sure. Kiwi, I definitely have. Lemon meringue pie, I might have. Ripe strawberries, I think I definitely have. And Flavor West yogurt. So maybe we could try that one. Let me check my stash. Let me check it. Let me check it. Oh. 
Let me just consult my said. stash over here. <laughs> huh? Let me just consult my stash. Let me see what I got. I don't even know what I got no more. Uh, let me see. My flipper stash. See, a lot of people are jealous because they, they don't like me. They just never bothered entering them. And then you get to a point and it's like, yeah, no. I do. I enter every every single time I order, I enter. I have to enter these, though. These I haven't or entered yet. Um, I, I do not have the the banana cream. Yes, I do. I have it. But I have the DX one. I'm not familiar with that one. Neither am I. It's yeah. DX um, like PPA. Double. Does anybody in the chat know the difference between DX and regular? Which ones are we talking about? TPA. I think the only the DX. TPA, is, the DX TPA. I think the only good one is the peanut butter. I think all the other ones are crap. Great. So I have crap stuff. You got crap. Unsupervised shopping again. I did that right at the beginning. I've had this shit and haven't even used it. <laughs> I think this was my very first order. I didn't know that there was something wrong with a DX. She's yelling at you, Lumi. <laughs> Gosh. You know, if you guys were just available 24 hours a day, it would help me. Hey, I helped you buy the bay list. I, I replied to that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, but the juicy story, I think I have. Let me see. JKL. Okay. Nope, don't have that one. All right, so I'm not making that rest. I'm really getting really mad right now. DX mean it doesn't have bad stuff in it. Oh, so it should still be good then. Right, Demillon? The bad stuff is what makes it good. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we had DeMillon on uh, Saturday. She came on live with us. Aw. We had fun. Aw. Maybe we can have her on next Monday. Are you available next Monday, DeMillon? If you are, let me know and we can have you on. I can't that way I can meet you face to face, not just name to face. Oh, that's not good then. DX makes the juice taste good though. But I like it bad. Don't but do it, Lumi. Right. Don't do it. I don't okay, do great, Demelon. Really uh, uh, do me a favor, Demelon. Just send me um, a DM in um, Instagram. And then what I'll do is I'll just send you the link and that way you'll have it for next week. Or do you have um, Demillon's um, Instagram that you can send it, Addy? Um, I hardly ever go on Instagram, but yeah, I, I do. Okay. Yeah, if you can go ahead and send it to Demillon, that way she has it for next Monday. Sure. And we start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, you know, you're always here. Or whenever yep. you can show up. I mean, you don't have to be right on time if you don't. 702. 702. Yeah, 702-ish, 656-ish, <laughs> but never past. 705. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when he gets frisky and starts early, shows us all her tattoos and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do a little flash game. Yeah. You know. But yeah, so I don't have that flavor. All right. Well, I need to make something. Like, see, I'm telling you, I got all into that lime for that key lime that I was making. And so I had all that. So, yeah. I have like Florida key lime and lemon lime. I got limes like up my wazoo. It, the DX is just the name of the type of um, e liquid flavor. Like Look at her. She's multi mixing. <laughs> multi mix shake. I haven't used my cheese. Bye, cheesecake. Cheryl. Have a good night. Huh? I haven't used my cheesecake flavors in a wee little bit. So I figured I should just shake them all at once. Oh, you're not making none? No, I am making it. I just I haven't used them in a while. So I was shaking them all. Okay, but what are you making? A cherry cheesecake. Oh, don't have that either. So, uh, yeah. All right. What were the new flavors you bought? We'll make something with those in just right after I try this. I just told you, it's a, basically, it's the Catalan cream, the Belgian waffle, and the yogurt. 
But remember, I have like, how many things do I have in here? Who's Belgian? I have 208 flavors. Well, now 208, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 flavors. 214 flavors. Who's Belgian waffle did you get? TPAs? No. The Taylor? liquid barn. Liquid barn. Oh. Yeah, because that's the one Fresh said was the best one. Oh, hey, JFM. How are you, sweetie? JFM. Oh shit, that's okay, so cream, waffle, Bayless, anything else? Um, yogurt. The flavor west one. We could remake that one recipe that had the yogurt that you didn't like. Yeah, that's what he was saying, the Addy's yogurt. Yeah, my insurance doesn't like to cover my blood work, so I'd spend like six months going back and forth trying to figure out how to get my insurance to cover my blood work. Oh my gosh. $300 just to get my Synthroid checked. I can send it. I have Dimlin's email. Oh, you do? Can you yeah. send it? Can yeah. you send it to her there? Okay. Dimlin, uh, he's sending it through your email. That way you have it for next Monday. Catalan is flavor art. Why are you... the freak, man? You can't add something you didn't put the full name at. Cata. No, it's not Cata. It's Catalan. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Wendy vapes, Wendy vapes, Wendy vapes. Jeez. What? <laughs> All these emails go in. <laughs> Bless you. you. Where the melon? There you are. And then I go down to there. Okay. Lemon lime. Um, I love that noise. Oh, it's stuck. What? My wallet. Oh. I didn't want to risk anything falling out of it, so I put it in my bra and it got stuck to my boob. <laughs> you steeping stuff, Louie? My wallet. <laughs> okay, uh. let's see. Okay. Now I have 214. I'm missing something. Email set. Shit, I had 204. No, how many did I have? 208, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. How many did I say I had? 208, 209. I don't know. So we have those in there, I'm guessing, because I think I put them in there. So let me look up Addie's thing. Addie's thing. <laughs> Addie, I'm going to look up Addie's thing and nobody else can see it but me. I got an email recently that my thing is going to be out all over the internet. Okay. Really? Yep. Why are you putting your thing out all on the internet? That late night Twitch, Twitch stream. Apparently I'm being blackmailed. Oh, wow. So how did they get it? They probably don't have it. They're just trying to get money. To get money. <laughs> I like your wording. They probably don't have it. Not they don't, because there's no possibility. But no, nah, they probably don't. <laughs> I got a fun shot, a screenshot of Lumi. I don't talk about that <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to find the Addie's, Addie's, Addie's yogurt. But I mean, if they do the favor of at least releasing it, I'll go to Pornhub and start my streams over there and make way more money. Oh yeah, most definitely. So once once it happens, there's no reason to not go through with it because I'm already <laughs> out there. So I might as well just dive right. into it. Might as well. Hi Chantel. But if they might not have it, then I don't think that you might have a problem. <laughs> oh no, that's not what. 
I have to French find fries to find Addie's yogurt. Let me just put in yogurt here. Oh, it was a delightful message. I even put it in the chat. Let's see. I'll read it to you guys. Are you ready? Yes. It'll, it'll cheer you guys up for the day. I'm seeing you really like to get yourself off, so you are reading this message. Nasty video of you tickle, or tickling your schwang was taken <laughs> with the help of your web camera. I'm sure that your family will be shocked by this. My data miner copied all your contact information, passwords, and your social networking sites, and more data. I can upset you. Don't try to apply the law enforcement. They won't be able to find me as I'm a foreigner. That's why my English knowledge is bad. I will have a swing. In the chat, Wendy. There's a oh, thank thing. you so much. I will sweep off all of your shocking vids once I obtain reward for my silence. 20 LT coin to the address given here. I am giving you 24 hours to pay for my silence. My system will notify me that you opened the message if you want my claims within 48 hours i will send all your fetid or compromising information to your family and you will become fetid on the internet as well the mail is interim soon there will be no access to it don't try to write to it <laughs> but they said to reply no they said not to reply to it because oh, apparently okay. the, the email is going to go by well i would love to see how you were you were tickling your swing too so <laughs> I couldn't resist opening it because when you get the email, you could see like a little bit of what it says. Yeah. And I knew it was just a scam at that point, but I just, I had to read it. I just, I, it's, just, I would, I would have read it too. Not me. Um, I go delete it and I block their domain. Oh, I did that later, but. I still read it. I had to. I couldn't resist. There was nothing to click except for just the message. So I couldn't have downloaded anything. Red touch. But on the bright um, side, if they get this information out there by somehow, it's just going to motivate me to become one of those streamers. Have to get into I shape. I have a whole bunch quick. of strawberry flavors. <laughs> Where are they? I have a couple of surgeries too, so I can actually have the the swing. <laughs> okay, so I don't have the strawberry red touch. You have VSO strawberry. Yes, is that that can replace it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a fairly fairly natural strawberry. Yeah, I think it'd be perfect. Okay. You get it. Oh my God, these smell so good. Oh, watch be the last one I pick up. Yep, last one. I might have okay. some nice stuff in my mailbox too, Loomies. Woohoo! You can't play with any of them except for the cherry live because I got permission for that one. Now I'll be testing it live. <laughs> I heard about this clutch thing that everybody's talking about. Apparently Mooch posted a video about some kind of drop that's going on. And then within a couple of hours, Mike Vapes posted a video on how to correct it. So if you have a clutch, if you're not, Mike Vapes, I think, released a video on fixing it. Yeah. 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 But I haven't, I haven't, I, I probably won't get the clutch. I've already got requests to review it, but I probably won't get it. Because um, it's um, by, um, who is it? It's by Dopo and um, whatchamacallit, and that, they won't send me anything. Bayless, I need those two, three. Okay, I don't want to forget what I made. Okay, cool. Let's go. We're on to another. Okay, so we're gonna make Addie's yogurt, but we're gonna make it with my yogurt. It should use everything the same, right? Everything yeah. else should be the same, yeah. even the yeah. strawberry, right? Yeah. 
I'm just going to go off of this recipe for a 30 mil. It's easy. I think um, okay. Vaping Biker's coming back. He hasn't been doing anything in six months. Yeah, I know. I kind of got like, I got the message, like the, what do you call it? The notification. I was like, oh, I got to go check that out. And then I got so busy, there's no checking it out. 29. It's good enough that it needs its own cotton. I was just going to drip it on top to see if I liked it, but it's good enough it needs its own cotton. All right, so you're going to even re-wick for it. That's awesome. All right, so we got oh, I'll be so awesome to get a good cherry. Yeah, that would be great. Because right now I'd no, you want to walk down to your mailbox in the middle of the night? <laughs> I'll just bring my katana, Lumi. <laughs> Don't laugh, Wendy. <laughs> it's right here. It's a little rusty. <laughs> I want wow. a freaking katana that looks like that. I'm from Miami. We have machetes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only one I, I gave all the other ones away. A guy from my last job used to uh, work at a laser uh, laser cutting company, and all the big manufacturers would uh, sub it out, sub out, and they would cut all their blanks out for him. Oh wow! Good night, Amber. Night, Amber. So if there was any imperfection, they went in the barrel and right. They let him take a whole bunch, and they gave them to me. That is awesome. I don't know how to unlock my um, lustro. Apparently, I locked it. Do you anybody know how to unlock the lustro? Probably um, three or five really fast clicks. Yeah. Do three oh, clicks. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the two. All right. Kiwi is 1.25. Almost done. And this is a shaking paper now. Uh, three, three or four days. But it's not bad off the shake. Okay. The key was going to blow your face off a little. All right, then. It's just how I like it with my face off. <laughs> Those kiwis in your face just jiggling. Yep. Just jiggling, baby. Just rub them all in my face. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Now I gotta put kiwi emojis out there. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> and strawberry. <sighs> oh, my thing came off. Damn it. I hate when this happens. The tops don't stay on the thing, on the bottle. What's that red thing hanging there, Lumi? Red Is thing. It your Lumi Loom? By where your hooks are for your braids? That's my phone charger, so I don't run it over with Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, never, that's never good. Whenever I'm not using it for braids, my phone charger sits there, so I don't run them over with my Hot Wheels. Okay. I'll be right back. Shit. I put a little bit more strawberry in it, but oh, it's okay. Fuck it. That's how we learn here. 30.3. We're still going, Frank. <laughs> I hope this works out. How come avocado so hard to spell? <laughs> because it doesn't spell the way it sounds. <laughs> you gotta be like avocado. There you go. That's how I spell it. Thank God for spelling. That's back. like Wednesday. I'm constantly being like, okay, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it. 
Why? And there is there is day. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's like, you guys are still on? And he's like, reminds me of my marathon shows. Yeah. <laughs> now this is a typical Monday night. <laughs> I got Heimdall his new toys and they came in today and he is like a little puppy. Oh, They're all puppy. supposedly indestructible, but I've I've gotten him indestructible toys before and they still get destroyed. Thanks after his mama. <laughs> Just because it says indestructible doesn't mean it. End up in wetness protection. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Addie, we're trying it again. All right, let's try this VSO cherry on some fresh cotton. I'll let you guys know if you want it. <laughs> I'm honestly not that big of a cherry fan, so I'll go through a couple of things. I do like cherry cheesecakes. And I do like cherry cola. I've never made a cola vape before, so I will try a cherry cola vape too. Oh, yay. Ooh, cherry vanilla Coke. I'm making Addie's yogurt. Um, it's actually an ELR. He put the link in here. I can put it again if you guys need it. But um, Fresh made it, and it's been since like 2015 everybody's been making this. It's Good crazy how many... How many remixes there are on on ELR of that? I don't know. Well, we're gonna try this now because I got bubbles, and of course my thing is in there. Yeah, <sighs> gotta hear what happens. That thing makes me want to throw out bottles for real when that happens. Can I already do that one? Let me do this one. Fresh wake. Fresh wake. <laughs> I lost the chat. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. We're gonna do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to love it no matter what. Cherry coffee ice. Hmm. I do have a notoriously awesome creamy coffee vape. So I can only imagine a creamy coffee with a little bit of cherry. All right, let that sit for like two minutes because if you know anything about a five millimeter rod that's been used to coil your foils, you're using a quarter of a pad of Muji cotton. <laughs> Takes a while to wick those up. And It's more bearable than the first one. Oh, good. <laughs> it is definitely. Hi, Lori. Welcome, sweetie. Definitely oh, more enjoyable. Yeah, good. It gets a lot better and in three days. In the Kiwi, it says 1.25, but I actually only put one. Instead of the 1.2, even though it's in the grams already, already I yeah, just took off the 0.25. And it still comes through really, really strong. <coughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Al. Yeah, this one, it, it definitely, Hi, I think, was that yogurt. Yeah, so you don't like that too tangy stuff then. To me, it, it tasted sour. Yep. And a lot of people with the Greek yogurt feel that way. Yep. This is know. much, much better. This is real Addie's yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Not that sour, tangy stuff. Nah, this is good shit. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta adopt this and keep it. So I know what I did. Okay, so thirty-three. Nice. Da, 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 da. God damn it, so, This is going to be instead of Greek yogurt, it's just yogurt. Flavor West. 
It's good, Lumi. Kiwi, if I put out the 0.25, that's like a 0.75 of percentage, right? I was thinking that. The, the, oh, sorry. I'll wait for um, your I've lost. I lost. All right. We have 4% of Kiwi is in your original. But when I came down to the um, grams to enter, it was 1.25, but I only put one. So taking off 0.25 of the it's grams. 20%, from the, 20 less. So it would be 380, right? So it's 2.8. Yeah, 3.20. That's it. Okay. So four. So I was thinking this was going to be a little bit more on like the syrupy side based off of the smell of it. Uh -huh. But it has more of that natural cherry flavor to it. So I'm thinking I should either add a smidgen, like a point, like literally a drop per 30 ml, like a 0 0.10 of raspberry molina concentrate by Inaware to make it a little bit more jammy. Or I could do raspberry boysenberry by Wonder Flavors to possibly turn it into a black cherry syrup. But right now it tastes like a cheesecake with some cherries on top, like some oh, that cut sounds up good. Cherries, Yum. Like moisturized cherries on top of it. Yum. I'll release the recipe. I like it. I'll make it public. There we go. I just saved it. Okay, cool. Right. I should have done something I was a little bit more reluctant for because I, I feel bad. I always say that Swaggy's stuff is so good and I'm, I want to say something is bad so people don't think I'm full of shit. <laughs> so I was hoping it was going to be I'm just thinking, you know, that you're paid. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. No, I'm just kidding. Chill. Um, Lumi, do you Yeah, have this yogurt, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm That's really, good. really liking it. I Which yogurt? Oh, the, the Flavor West, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just, it's really good. Lumi, uh, do you have cap jelly candy? Cap? I don't believe so. Okay. That jam stuff's up pretty well. I may have to add it to my list. All right. So I use this cherry at 0.87%. So it is a very, very mild back note, but I don't like my cheesecakes with the fruit as a front note, I want to be able to taste my cheesecake. So here's the recipe. Yes, me too. This is my quicker cheesecake mix that I started making. I use cheesecake graham cracker crust TPA at 1.14. Hold on, I don't have my pen. Shit, I don't have my notebook, hold on. Where's my little pen? I feel like this one steeps a little bit quicker than the the three, two, one recipe from Alfred Pudding, which I really love his cheesecake, but I don't have patience for steeping. So I kind no, of- No, I don't want to steep. Yours, you don't have to steep, right? So far, I like it right off the Lucky. bat. Okay, so you said the graham cracker cheesecake? Cheesecake graham Yep, cracker. graham cracker cheesecake TPA at 1.14. Hold on, graham. Mollenberry jelly candy, Lumi. 1.4, you said? 1.14. It's my weird percentages. That's fine. Um, lemon meringue pie by Capella, 0.12. Lemon meringue, shit, meringue pie, Capella, at what? 0.12. Got it. Vanilla pudding by Flavora, 0.53. Pudding. How much again? 0. 0.53. Okay. Yes, we cheesecake in Aware. Mm hmm 1.56. Okay, and that's your cheesecake base? That's that's a cheesecake base I make for shake and vape. So you only have that Mollenberry jelly candy, but I haven't tried it yet. So that might work with the hmm. cherry. I could try that. Okay, too. I have to see if I have the lemon meringue. <laughs> it smells I know, like I think I have one. 
I know I have the vanilla pudding and I have, all right, lemon, 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 lemon. Lemon. Oh man, I don't have the lemon meringue. Yeah, not, but. I thought I had a meringue though. Yeah, I, I have a meringue, but it's a flavor art, just meringue. <clears throat> Can I sub it for that or no? I mean, you could try it. Do you have other lemons? Yeah, I have lemon. I have lemon flavora, lemon lime, lemon tea, lemonade. Like a little, a little lemon lime and a little meringue will make your a little lemon lime. So if we're doing lemon meringue at point one two, I would go really low with um. What lemon did you say? I'm sorry. I have oops. I have regular lemon from Flavora, or I've got cap lemon lime. Yeah, like lemon lime at 0.3. That's a 0 0.12 all, all together. Oh, if, if Lumi's um, lemon ring. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I literally use it just because the lemon has that little bit of a like a very smidgen lemon note to add to the cheesecake because normally like a New York style cheesecake that's been baked. Yeah, it has a little bit of lemon in it. Yeah, you use just a little bit and then the meringue pie bits of it makes it a little bit more moist. All right, so say like 0.03 of the lemon and then the rest of it meringue. You probably won't get 0.03. I, I would. That's going to come out to nothing, right? Yeah. yeah, like this lemon meringue pie, I only added a, like a drop and a half. Point, try point two lemon lime and point two meringue. So That's what you can do for three. that is don't get a full drop that will drop out of your bottle. Get like a little bit of a drop and then tap it to the side of your bottle. And that's uh -huh. how you get the really, really small drops out of it. So lemon lime, small drop, and then... How many drops for the meringue? Just meringue. I would do that as a really small droplet too. So like a half a droplet. So just mm -hmm. get it so it's forming out of there and then tap it to the side of the bottle. Small drop. And you can always add more if you want some more because I think you'll like the lemon lime a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I got because I, I, I was getting into like lemon and lime and all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the base. Because why not? I'm here. <laughs> let's get on with the show. Okay, so my yogurt, I'm going to have to put here. The Bavarian cream is going to go here. The kiwi is going to go here. And I think that was, oh, here we go. Blueberry extract goes there. Okay, so for ours, we're going to need cheesecake graham, which is over here. When I made this cheesecake, um, I was actually really excited about it. It was kind of just me winging it. Uh -huh. I noticed the other one needed a little bit of time to steep, and it was a little too potent for me. Like, it was a little too obnoxious on the eggy notes. <laughs> and so I made this one, and I put strawberry into it for my husband, and that's when he was like, this tastes way better than the other cheesecake as a shaken vape. So oh. my new cheesecake. Shake and vape. I used to get like a like a weird cheese note, I guess, off of the three two one mix. I'm kind of jonesing for some Mandalorian, Lumi. We gotta wait till the end of summer. Is it fall or something, right? I'm not sure when it's coming back out. I, I thought for sure there would be a commercial for the Super Bowl, but yeah, instead they released um, Winter Soldier, Loki, and WandaVision during the Super Bowl. They didn't release Mandalorian stuff. 
Yeah, I think I read they're not going to start releasing the next season until fall of this year. Which is kind of a bummer. I think the toys are coming out soon, though. They have a new realistic one that's coming out. It's 16.5 inches tall. It is wow. the cutest thing I have ever seen. It is so realistic, except it's $350. Oh, my God. <laughs> I ran over to Mr. Lumi, and I was like, if you ever feel like you're baller, and you really just want something special as a gift to get me, get that. And he's like, he just kind of laughed. <laughs> Your mom's a baller, he said. Oh, you know what? Wait, lemon, 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 lemon. Yes, they're baller. Okay. Where is There's... my vanilla pudding? Oh, got it! <laughs> Get this one. I still don't have a space for all these. I bought another nail polish rack, but now I need a space to put the nail polish rack. Are you grabbing a vanilla pudding out of there? Yeah. How do you not already have one open? Because I only have one. That's this one. No, this is the um, the Flavora one. Yeah, how have you not already used Flavora's vanilla pudding? Because since I got all these flavors, I haven't really made too many. So. <laughs> I'm horrified. Uh, yes, sweet cheesecake. Okay, cool. I don't have a space to put them all. My space is very, very small. Like, I'm getting really cramped. So I'm gonna put these over here. This is vanilla bean. I got trick cereal. I got tequila agave or agave. Tequila. Sweet tequila. Yes, okay. So we got those in there. I got this over here. Okay, and then yes, we cheesecake is over here. Yes, 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 we, yes, we, yes, we, yes, we cheesecake. So, yes, we cheesecake, oh, vanilla pudding, meringue, 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 M N M N M N meringue. <laughs> April, if you're talking about DIYing, it can seem a little daunting at first, but you just have to find somebody that can slow it down if you get overwhelmed. There's somebody out there, myself included, who can slow it down and help you get started. Yeah, also I I started a DIY playlist from the start to, to now. Um, they're all in there that um, it's basically from the very start, like what do you need to get started? Some one shot deals and then we kept going and I've been doing it ever since, so yeah. Really yeah, I'm still in disbelief that you don't already have a vanilla pudding open somewhere. It's just I that's because the other vanilla pudding I'm almost out of, and that one I haven't made anything with vanilla pudding. I haven't made pretty much anything during the week time. I've been so busy. Um, Bull City. Well, just for starter kits and stuff like that, it's gonna be um, Nick. Nick, what is it? Nick River Supply. Wait, River, River Supply Co. River yeah. Supply Co. Um, just look up River Supply Co. on Google and I'll come up. And then um, Liquid Barn for your pre-base, which is actually your pre-mix right here. This is my three milligram that I bought from them at Liquid Barn. It already has the VGPG and the nicotine in it to make it easier. And you can buy some one shots from there. You can also buy some one shots at VSO, VSOflavors.com and just mix it with this. And it's really, really easy. Um, Liquid Barn does have a three milligram premix, just as yeah. a heads up. They what? They have a three milligram premix. Yeah, that's, that's what they use it. Yeah, that's no, what I said. This not not Liquid Barn. Um, River Supply Co. Yeah, but I think this one. I don't know. I, this one I, I I like better. I think it was cheaper too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, that's it, April. But all that I explained in the like the very first three live streams that I did on the DIY uh, uh, playlist, because I basically started with everyone. Once this all started, they started talking about the vape fans. That's why I started the DIY mixes on Mondays because of that to try to help people out. That's the whole reason why this even got started. And now I'm just a crazy mixologist. If you like 
creamy flavors like ice creams, milks, um, custards, cheesecakes, anything like that, I would get your pre-mix and the liquid bar and vanilla ice cream. Yes, the vanilla ice cream you have to get. That's like a number one starter right here. This vanilla ice cream is the best vanilla ice cream ever. And you can make this as a one shot. I did that on my, I think it was the second or the third live stream. It was so good. So good. Yes, yes, definitely, Brandy. But it helps you because you're learning with me. You know, it's like you're learning along with me and you can see how far you can get. The bit, oh, this one here, this I got from um, River Supply Co. My Nick and my VGPG, I get from there. You can, and wash any um, old e-liquid bottles that you have, just wash them out. You can actually just pop off the tops and wash them out, and you don't even have to buy bottles at the beginning, depending on how many you already have. So sure. that's what I did to begin. You remember, Addy? I was just yep. washing out my old bottles yep. and I still, them. I still wash out my bottles. <laughs> And I still save them. They're all by my sink. I got to wash them out. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Brandy. That's what we all do. Okay, so cheesecake graham, we're going to do. Oh, let me put it over here. Da, 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 da. Head to address book. Cheesecake. Peace. Okay. So we're going to make three, 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 20, three, 20, that. add one, two, three. You have four flavors, but I'm going to be using five because now I got to get that lemon meringue, cheesecake cream. That's going to be one, two, three, four. Ring. Cool. What fruit are you going to want in your cheesecake? Because that's just a cheesecake base. Do you want any? Yeah, I, know. In it? I like plain cheesecake too. Because you also have the swaggy lines, so I could I could highly recommend putting a little bit of blueberry in there or strawberry. Yeah, I already have a blueberry with that one already made. Um you, you got a little bit of lemon lime in there. Vanilla pudding. Hold on. Oh, vanilla. I put cheese. The one I can find the pudding. Devora. And then we've got the yes, we cheesecake at 1.56. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these. Okay, but we're going to do the drops of those. Um, you know what I want? What was it that I just saw? You know what I should make? Raspberry cheesecake. I've not had a raspberry one. And I just saw a raspberry. What's a rhubarb? I don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. has a raspberry. Huh? VSO has a raspberry. Did you get that one? Nope. I only got the four main flavors and those other two. Oh, yeah. You got those before he released the raspberry. Man, I thought I just saw raspberry, but apparently I didn't. I did find pineapple, though. <laughs> pineapple go. cheesecake might be nice. Yeah, for a change, right? Oh, there's the raspberry and there's the pineapple. So which one should I use? It's up to you. What are you feeling? Because I already have a blueberry. And my blueberry cake, everything is pretty much blueberry for me. <laughs> so, I don't know, something different. Now, both of them are Flavora, so. So, Flavora's raspberry? I never even tried Flavora's raspberry. Fresh says it's good. I haven't tried it, but Fresh says it's good. I haven't tried Flavora's pineapple either. Yeah, me neither. All right, so should we chance it with the pineapple or no? Yeah. What the hell? It's DIY. I don't know. Scott Smith says pineapple. We're going to do pineapple. Okay, so about how much of a percent do you think I should put of that? Because I don't want it to, oh, I want it to be a back note like you like it. I would throw I it want it to be able to be tasted, but I don't want it to be overbearing. Start at. Look the flavor notes and look at it. Start at, point, 
Point four. Point four. Well, everything else is kind of light, though. That's going to overpower all of it. Well, I'll go lower then. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just check. All right. So pineapple. Pineapple flavor. Oh, Frank says, yeah, the red raspberry is better than the regular raspberry. Okay. Well, I only have the regular one. All right. I think 2% is going to be too much because we already have for the gram, for the cheesecake graham oh, crust, we've only got 1.14. Point for the point two two. All right, let's try this. All right, we're gonna do pineapple because Scott Smith said so. <laughs> that makes it easy for me. <laughs> I've oh, never had a pineapple cheesecake before. That sounds awful. Just oh, it's on yummy. a scale, April. It's good. <laughs> that okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Oops, I gotta turn this on. What the hell, Michelle? No, no nap taken on Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Like I took a nap. I only took 30 minutes and I was, look at me. I'm ready to go. Anybody who orders tonight can use one. Wow, I have a coupon code. Wendy Vapes for 17% off of VSOflavors.com. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Y'all need to try it now. They even have flavor packs. Like you can get like the four flavors in it, which I have the apple, blueberry, strawberry, and always forget that fourth one blueberry apple strawberry blueberry. wait blueberry apple strawberry and blueberry yeah wait no i already said blueberry twice oh my gosh <laughs> i have a cookie great 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 like the right. green grape yep. thank you so much Wyatt. Great. Great i mean uh fidalgo yeah this is the grape one it's the green grapes so it's not like a candy vape, uh, grape, I think. I haven't tasted it yet. Which we need to do one of those too. We need to do something with grape. Not, not now. Maybe later. I'm going to make this first. So cheesecake graham crust. Here we go. 0. 0.34, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have the pumpkin. The pumpkin I really, really like. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I need a pumpkin donut. Uh, I have the grape. And I have the, no, I don't have the raspberry. I lied. Oh, you made a pumpkin donut? Yeah, it's yummy. With the VSO? Yeah. How'd it turn out? Good. <clears throat> it's over on my uh, ELR. And keep your eyes peeled for that cherry. I don't know when he's releasing it, but I like it. I have a coupon code now. I heard. Isn't that exciting? I was Yay! in the kitchen shoving a spoonful of lasagna into my face. Oh, okay. Well, just checking because I have a coupon code. Just saying. <laughs> I wonder what was on your chin. So the meringue, just a drop. You're going to love the VSO pumpkin, Scott. It's a really, really good flavor. It's not too overspiced. The thing that I thought was hilarious, um, <clears throat> I went back because somebody wanted a link to the vaping swag t-shirt that I have because I have a Lumi Stream shirt. And on there, I have an interview that I did with um, Mike. And I was saying, if there was if there was any flavor you could ask for, what is it? And in that interview, I said, I would really like Swag to do a pumpkin. If anybody out here can do a pumpkin, it is going to be Swag. And yeah, then guess what he did? Good. And now I have a pumpkin. <laughs> so, Lumi, Fidago Vape said it, he that wick lasted him all this long in that blotto with your Lumi braid. So that's been a couple of weeks. I had so much conflicting feedback on that blotto now that I'm so scared to buy it. You're not going to fit a five, but you'll fit a four and a half. I know, but it's just so many people come in with conflicting reviews on using that blotto that I'm just scared of it now. Well, then you don't get it. You'll have your drops anyway. So yeah. Maybe if I ever find myself swimming in cash, I'll do it, but. This is like a Wendy marathon. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost done. Hey, I don't wick up these four, four settings just for nothing. 
Well, I'm going to use them all. <laughs> I didn't get any sleep. I made 15 recipes last night. <laughs> I know, right? Well, she needs to have something to vape all week. That's why it takes so long. I know. <laughs> You're gonna be making gallons of fresh's uh Eddie's yogurt now. Yeah, oh my god, it is really good. I'm really liking it, like really a lot. And the other one I kept leaving it and trying it and leaving it and try I just could not do it. It just was like this mess to yeah, it. Like, that's well, just like me. You... I'm not saying it's a bad flavor, it's just me. Yeah, and my palate did not like it. The tart. A lot of people don't like the tart. Yeah. 3518. 3518. Oh, clear, <clears throat> yeah, that pumpkin is yummy. Oh my god, I really like it. Whew. I got some packages to go out. Yes. That's a big box. Medium size flat rate, $15. <laughs> I know. No, the small one is like $15 too. The medium one is like yeah, medium, up to $15 that's what, that's too. That's what that is. Yeah, medium flat rate. It was just crazy. It was like. Yeah, Ian Thomas sent a bunch of stuff, some beef jerky and some stuff from England. For oh, that's friend. awesome. I've already gone through all my beef jerky from Ian, but I also shared it with Adam Meter and my husband who shared it with the in laws. <laughs> good. It's good. I can't have something so amazing and just keep it to myself. I need to share it so I can express my love for it with other people so they can relate to it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're about to try this one. Gosh, shake, shake, shake. Lumi's shake, pineapple shake. cheesecake. Shake your booty. Guaranteed to be awesome. Ah, let's try this. I got shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake my booty. Shake Let me want some eye contact. <laughs> I know, right, Swag? Oh my God, the freaking, that's what's killing me here. Yeah, so that was a plain pumpkin, no spices. <clears throat> the pumpkin, it's got some spice, but it's not over spicy, and that's what I like about it. It doesn't have like all that. I don't know. It's a really, really good one, Michelle. I really like it. Everybody I've tried to talk to loves it. That's what I was going <clears throat> for with it because there's so many pumpkins that are out there that are even close to it. Like some of them have pie crust already in them and I have my own pie crust. So I could just add that if I want. Like that should be optional, but there was no yeah. pumpkin out there that was like a pumpkin filling with mild spice because you can add your own spice too. So I was like, swag, you can well, do this. Health Cabin was the best one. The Health Cabin Pumpkin Pie yeah. was the best until Swags came along. I didn't even like the Health Cabin one, and I have like 45 mLs of that, and I can't stand it. I'll send it bubbles. over. Lots of bubbles. Yes, you can ship from home um, using flat rate boxes. They'll deliver them to you for free, and then you just print out your labels your flat rate labels and just stick it on the boxes and you can call the post office to pick it up usually. So you can do it from home. You just need the boxes and stuff because you have to use their boxes. The flat rate boxes you have to use. Oh, shit, overdo it. Yeah, for me, for some reason, when I was trying that health cabin pumpkin, it tasted like ramen noodles. Minus oh my God. The broth. It was terrible. <laughs> I didn't get that. I was like sitting there just mind blown on how people could be like, this is a pumpkin. I was just like, this is ramen noodles. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> This is good cheesecake. You like my cheesecake base? I love the base of it. The pineapple is not really coming through too much. I think I, I need to put a little bit more. 
Which is funny because pineapple for me is usually overbearing. You know, so I'm going to double the pineapple. I'm going to put in another, I'm going to change it to 0.44. Put another 0.07 in there. Mm. But that is good. You know why? Because it's got like, you can, on that one, on yours, you can actually like feel the texture of the graham cracker crust. You know what I mean? That's what I was going for. And that's what you got. That, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> so let me put in another 0.07 of my pineapple. That's why I use the Inawera and the Capellas, or not Capellas. I left Capella out of it because to me, Capella is more of the cheesecake filling than it is any crust. So I yeah. use the TPA and the Inawera because those are the two that actually have a noticeable crust in them. And then I use the vanilla pudding to help steep the cheesecake part a little bit quicker so you don't have to wait so long. I hate waiting. You have no idea. Like, that's when I forget about it. I'm like, oh, oh, what did I make? Oh, yeah, where is it? I got to try that one. The, the dupe for my key lime pie, that, that one. I got to try that one too. Okay, so let me get this in. What are you guys doing tomorrow on Fresh, Lumi? I think we might be working off of pictures that people have sent and making recipes based off of the pictures. Oh, cool. That sounds like so much fun. That's something I love so much about Mix and Vixens. I just, the only thing I don't like about the process of mix and vixens is by the weekend when you present it based off of the picture it should be a final recipe and i'm not very confident in my mixing skills so i just like winging it and mixing it live but i absolutely love the whole mix and vixen process i just wish it was live mixing yeah that was good. So I have that one. Shit, what was this? Oh, that's adding over. I'm like, damn it, I already have an empty bottle. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Got my Sharpie right here. I'm writing them right on the right. I put tape now. I don't even bother with the paper. I just put tape and I write it on there and then just take the tape off. Two, three. I'll get more of that one. I gotta try this one too. This is that dupe I was trying. I know I have an extra one somewhere. Facebook, yes. Discord, and IG, they all pop up on my phone when I get a new message. <clears throat> and I'll reply to it as soon as I can. I do sleep during the day. So mute your conversations with me because I might be replying back to you at like 3 a.m. East Coast time. <laughs> and I would feel terrible to wake you up. It'll make it a lot easier that I can just message you at 3 a.m. not worrying about waking you up. So just mute me and I'll message you at 3 a.m. You can wake up, reply to the message. When I wake up, I'll reply to the message. It's so funny because I actually have my um, do not disturb that automatically goes on at 10 p.m. every single night. Because I used to get messages all night long and it'd be like right while I'm in the middle of sleeping and it used to wake me up. So now every single night at 10 p.m., my do not disturb automatically goes on and I don't worry about it. And the only people that can get through are like my kids. Yeah, I, I, I hope more people use that, but I'll feel bad because when I finally get around to mixing stuff and helping people, it's normally at really inconvenient hours for them. And I'll be like, oh, I should just wait a couple more hours until it's daylight. And then by then I forget. So if you mute me or you have do not disturbed on, it'll allow me to message you when I actually can message you instead of having to wait and possibly forgetting. This dupe is good. What's dupe? This is that lemon, a uh, lemon, uh, oh my God, the key lime pie, the point, the 3.14 that I was trying to dupe this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it's coming out. It's almost, 
it's almost right there. It's almost right there. The girl's got skills. That's some good shit right here. And I think I already uh, made it public. Do you hear from Just Brad? Uh, no. Nope. 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 Have not heard from him, so I guess he's just on his own. <laughs> on his own. El Ben says 90 percent. Huh? El Ben Shit, says ninety percent. Lost everything. DIY or die always says that's about ninety percent. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! I just lost this whole recipe. Uh, pineapple cheesecake. Pineapple cheesecake. Damn, that's early, Kristen. God, I get up at five. Three's and when he gets up at four thirty, right? Yep. This one, two, three, four, five. And we got the Good night, Nicole. Good night. Good night, everybody. Cheesecake Graham. What the was that? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Pineapple. Ooh, bummer, Adam. Why is that not coming up? Am I not spelling it right? Oh, I'm not spelling it right. <laughs> there we go. If you spell it right, it works out. And then we've got the lemon lime. No. I feel uh, like if anybody were to new, know how to handle raw milk, it would be VSO flip flavors. Not for vaping, but just in general. I know milk can have some stuff in it, so there, I think there is a filtration. VSO, you can correct me. What are you doing with raw milk? You've been watching Shit's Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a goat? My daughter wants a goat. For it's a like you've got three kids. What do you need a goat for? I kept trying to bring bring the goats inside whenever I'd go hang out at my uncle's house because me and my cousin would hang out on the weekends whenever she'd go to my uncle's. And he'd have these baby goats and me and her would go outside and try to bring them back inside so they wouldn't get cold in the winter. <laughs> they poop everywhere. We get in so much trouble. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have yeah, you would have been in trouble in my house too, Lumi. <laughs> <laughs> Five gallons of fresh raw milk. Oh, that's so not yummy. Why do you have five gallons of fresh raw milk? So you made some good stuff tonight, Wendy? Oh my gosh, yes, yes, awesome. yes. Awesome. I'm really happy in that Addie's yogurt is definitely like right up there with it. I'm I, yeah, I got enough for the week. Well, maybe like three days. <laughs> oh now you got some recipes. You can you mix another batch up or whatever, right? Yep, that I can do. And let me make this one not private. That 3.14 key lime dupe. Make this not private. because that one came out amazing i only make them public once i know that they're good you know what i mean i don't, don't just put out flavors flavor. that might be bad i just i forget i get lazy so even when they are good i forget to set them as public yeah that's why when i try them and they're they're good then i just go ahead and uh, make them public right then and there All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to get these labels on these packages and chill out a little bit. Fine, me too. <laughs> I have to get to bed. I know it. All right, well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Wendy. I love you. I love that you're here all the time, like the whole time. If you don't leave me anymore, like, uh, go to go. No. <laughs> See what my other friends are doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm your friend. <laughs> Love you, Lumi. 
Thank you all for being thank here. We're going to cut it chat. short. And, well, not short. It's been three hours, so I guess it's not really short. But thank you all for coming, and we love you so much, and we will see you next Monday. Have an amazing week. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your thoughtful love and, you know, just being here tonight. Sorry about the crime, but I appreciate all the support I'm getting from you guys. I really do appreciate it. I love each and every one of you more than you ever know. And thank you, Lumi and Addy, for being here, and love you. <laughs> love you. Good night. Night.